In the name of the Funplex, I'll punish you. This will take cunning, agility, and an iron resolve. Now to assemble all these components together in a giant kitten-saving robot. Naomi, it's time to form Voltron. Who is my tank? Wait a minute. What if the tank is... I summon a guardian! Yes! <laughs> Guacamole! Let's focus on what's right here, right now. Where are we? Max? Yo, it's Pax! <laughs> We're in Pax right now! <laughs> also, plenty of kissing and touching butts! <laughs> Yeah, Anna wrote this. Yep. Mm. Yep. I bet you'd make an excellent player too for Queen Bee. She'd be happy to beat you up too. In Fist of Discomfort. Unless you're both into that, I mean. I seriously hope you aren't insinuating that I don't treat all pro gamers with the utmost respect. I don't understand. I seriously hope you are insinuating that I don't treat all pro Siri? No, not now. I'm a branding shill. Oh no, because that's my last name in this game too. Oh, I'm a super egocentric asshole. Wearing my most professional smile. I stroll over to the entrance. Oh, fuck. I take my supreme pizza bagels and dunk them into the water cup. The texture of the slimy wet pizza bagels. Yeah, it's not the most enticing feeling in my mouth, but chewing them up has become twice as easy. I'm powerhousing through these now. It feels like it's been forever, but it couldn't have been more than several minutes. As I stuff more eatables into my body, my tummy's already feeling it. But it feels like success. This is barely a dent in my iron insides, and I can eat like this all day long. <coughs> I need water, guys. Man, that COVID facial hair, eh? Hey? <laughs> Ah, uh, good evening everybody! Welcome to the Game Player Squad! My name is James, and we have a very, very special off-centered game capture. Sir. Sir, please. Nothing works the first time. Uh, we are playing! We have the, the great, great fortune of getting an early access demo of Arcade Spirits. The New Challengers, a game by Fiction Factory Games, published by P-Cube Games in the UK. <laughs> um, and we are very excited. What's going on here? Okay, da -da -da -da. everyone cheering, cheering, cheering. What happens when you get scared half to death twice? Is it normal death? Full complete death? I don't know. Alex, you are in for a ride though. You're going to have fun tonight. So, uh, first off, I should say, everyone who's here right now, thank you for coming in early. Um, the song is damn bumpin'. I'm excited. Um, but of course, we also have the the magnificent Two Flower, one half of Fiction Factory Games, in the chat as we speak. Uh, Mr. Two Flower, hello. Thank you for letting us be a part of this. I'm so uh, it's gonna be good times. And now Molly's here, the character <laughs> artist of this game, also. <laughs> Hi Molly, that's Jack Face. Uh, the soundtrack somehow got better. The soundtrack's so- I see you're double watching too- oh my god, so you're, you're just everywhere right now. You guys are fantastic. Anyway, so, uh, for those of you un unfamiliar, Arcade Spirits of course, uh, the new challenge is a sequel to the 2019 game Arcade Spirits. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly read the, the press release so I don't fuck this up. Set in the year 20XX, Arcade Spirits new challenges takes place in an alternate timeline where the 1983 video game crash never happened. You will take on the role of an aspiring esports champion seeking a new team at the Good Clean Fun Arcade. Successor to the critically acclaimed Arcade Spirits launched in 2019, the demo will be the first time players can get hands-on with the latest title since it was announced back in June. Brendan's here! Ah, hello, Brendan. Oh, it's gonna be good. I mean, I ducked out of Anna's because spoopy things scare me. Oh, no. Uh, da -da -da -da. and Brendan's here. Jackface is the reason I got the original. Jackface is the reason I got the original. Okay, okay. Specifically, Jackface is the reason I messaged PQ Game to be like, "Hi, we're friends with Jackface. Um, could we get a copy of your game?" And then I ended up buying it anyway. So you know, I gave the money. I bought. I I bought four copies of this game for myself and for three other people. 
But you know what? You know what? I'm 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 I'm, I'm doing work. I'm doing work. <laughs> He's got a lot of mods to take care of them. Anna does have a lot of mods. She she gonna be she gonna be just fine. I think. Anyways, um, bless you, TBH. Anyway, so we are we are ready. I've got a full can of bubbly. Can't say. Oh, okay. No worries, Brandon. Yeah, got a full case of bubbly as promised. I got a snackage plate of pizza bagels. I need you. I feel like I should mail my physical edition to someone to get you to sign. You know what? You could. I wanted to find a physical copy so that next time I had a chance to find um, Molly, that I could try to get one signed so we could do a giveaway. Can't find it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to to, to ask uh, Jeff Bezos for a copy, probably. I think. Elevens is in now. Fantastic. Hello, Elevens. Um, but yeah, how about these guys? Let me tell you something about these guys. I told Ash, my lovely fiance, just over yonder, that I was gonna go to Superstore for a quick run for pizza bagels. She goes, of course you are. And I go, is there anything, anything else you want or need? And she goes, salmon, cream, lemons. And I saw that she wanted to make salmon. I was very excited about that. Her salmon is fantastic. And I was asking, is this salmon tonight or another night? She's like, tonight. I was like, oh, this is going to be good. Salmon. So, I need you guys to understand, for the sake of committing to the bit, I have to eat microwave frozen pizza bagels after having an amazing dinner of baked salmon with a garlic butter and cream sauce and lemon on top of it. It was some enchanted evening. You have no idea. It was so. I went back for more, and I was like, I don't have to eat pizza bagel after that. She's looking at me. It's like, that's what you have to do. And it's just like, so, gotta committing to the bit. Also, I need color. Yeah, he's already full, so this is gonna be a bad time. Hi, Ash. The demo's an hour. A lot can be digested in that time. Okay. If it's the demo's only an hour, we might take a few runs at it, maybe. So, uh, let's see what we do. But when you have pizza on a bagel, you can have pizza anytime, including right after dinner, apparently. Dude, I got a, I got a pumpkin pie and stuff. Like, like we can have a delicious dessert, right? I was like, no, no, gotta commit to the bit. <laughs> Not as full as it is. I still have a quarter of a Dutch baby pie. Oh, you and them Dutch baby pie, they look really good that day. Anyways, and we have pie and ice cream. We do have ice cream. I bought ice cream. Since moving, we haven't had ice cream in the house for the longest time since we moved. Oh, yep. <laughs> Anyways, that's enough bullshittery. Let's get into it. Um, that monitor. See, because I had to put the, the window here, I usually have the like the camera window on the other side. Other side. So I had to swap the mirrors. Otherwise, the mirrors, the monitors. Otherwise, I'll be looking this way, and I want to make sure I'm looking at the game, you know? <clears throat> How long it takes making people? Oh yeah. I mean, we'll see. Also, I see the cursor is not quite lined up. So be it. Um, that should be fine. That's probably fine. I mean, I I, I messed around with it earlier. So all right, whatever. Let's do this. <clears throat> it's time. It's time. Pretty much everyone I've caught with has taken a lot longer than what they think it's going to be. Hello, and welcome to Arcade Spirits, the new challengers. <clears throat> My name is Iris, your personal digital assistant. I'll be your guide through the world of 20XX, an alternate time where arcades never went away. But before we begin your tale of love, friendship, and arcade competition, let's log in and set up your personal profile. <clears throat> this is a good looking setup. All right, let's see how much... For work groups. How much do I need to shrink this camera? Okay, let's see. Username, password. Check the I am not a robot box. Identify all the fire hydrants. Boy, this is tough for an AI like me to do. <laughs> and we're in. I've loaded up some default metadata, but if I got anything wrong, please feel free to change it however you like. Hey. Okay, okay, okay. Name and profile. Player handle. This name will, you'll see most of the time. So seeker's the the default. Um, if we want to be cute about it, we go with this. If we don't want to be that cute about it, we go with something else. Uh, 
We're gonna go with that. Okay. First name. All right. This is the only part I'm not. I'm not sure of. What? What the hell name are we gonna go? With? What's my? What's my first name, guys? What is my first name? Otherwise, we can't use James. James existed in the previous game. This is a different man. <laughs> um. Otherwise, I'm going with Nate because Vinci Games. <laughs> James? No, but he's. Like, I get it, it's just a demo, so I could be James. Same. It never actually gets referenced in the demo, so yeah, that's true. My baloney has first name as OSC. <laughs> Alright, today, for the demo, we will be James. <laughs> Last name, Daring. <laughs> so, this is the exciting part that everyone was very excited about. Um. I am me, so that's that. But look at this. She, her, they, them. Z, 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 here. Um, we have Fayfair. Uh, our, the lovely Scorpio who comes by our, our chat actually goes by Fayfair. That's cool. Time to be a girl and be the other Team Rocket member. <laughs> like, I have, to, I probably will eventually when, when I have a few runs of, of, of the other stuff. But you, you know how this goes. Skin tone. I need. That's too much. That's not enough. I'm pretty tan these days. All right, we're gonna go with that one. Okay. Online avatar. Oh, poo. Unicorns. I kind of dig that because I'm a classical studies. No mix and match option. He, they, and she, they are becoming way more common. Singular, non-definite, becoming more accepted in literature. That is very true. I mean, even uh, even Anna goes by by she, they. Um, ooh, that was something worth worth thinking about, sir. No way for the coach to know when to mix them and swap barrel. Ah, uh, that's why. Fair, fair. These are these are good questions with good answers. I appreciate. it. All right, we're gonna go with we're gonna go with uh, the laurels, and it actually does go by she they too, so probably technical, yeah. Hairstyle. Okay, we should take this hat off first. <clears throat> Hairstyle. Let's see. There's a lot. Let's see. It might be that one. That's a pretty cool hairstyle. Huh? It is shorter now, isn't it? Is it that much shorter though? Uh, that's probably gonna be the one. <laughs> Since they're still filling the body in, it's still all over the place. <laughs> nose selection. Guys, we can just pick our noses and stuff. Okay. I know for a fact that I actually have a rather large nose. It's quite, it's quite protruding. Masquerade mask give me trouble. Okay, let's go with that one. Body type and shirt. Okay. Get a loading in between. Got lots of options. But there's a little bit of uh, a time delay on. Alright. Let's see. Hoodie could be alright. Hoodie's not bad. I'm kinda, I'm kinda feeling hoodie. Or I could wear a jacket. Molly, I need to ask Ashley what the most common modern hairstyles are so I can add a few more. Molly says, uh, you need, she needs to ask what the most common modern hairstyles are so that they can add more. Ash says, okay. Silo's here. Hi, Silo. How are you doing? We are making a body. Alright, let's go with let's go with hoodie. We're gonna go with hoodie. It's me, so it's gonna be a green hoodie. That's, that's, that's what I wore the last game too. Green hoodie. 
Okay, pants and skirts. I guess we're going with pants. All right. Glasses. I, I think I realized something that I didn't do. Hair. I didn't change the hair color. Oop. This is fine. Uh, I like never wear hats. Should I wear a hat? I mean, he is more Jack. <laughs> These are the important questions. All right, we're gonna we're just gonna we're gonna rock hoodie. Although maybe a dark darker green. That's not a darker green. All right, we're gonna go with all, the slightly olive. All right, I think that's gonna be it. That's James Daring handle some guy pronoun he him. I think we spent enough time on this. <laughs> Let's go. <clears throat> Name, some guy slash James Jang Pronoun here. He, is this correct? I think so. Yes. Hello, some guy. Gosh, this is exciting. I'll do everything I can to support your hopes and dreams. Oh, but it seems you aren't alone, are you? Oh, fuck. Fuck. Right, 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 right. No, you also have your rival to contend with. Why don't you tell me a bit about them, too? Guys, I got a bad idea. I got a really bad idea. I got a, I got a really bad idea, guys. Gary. <laughs> Who can figure out what's going on before we get there? Rival shirt color cannot be changed. Oh, okay, okay. Oh shit, did I not do eye color? Oh, maybe I didn't do eye color. Just to be clear, that hair option is for hats. You are right. I will need to fix that also. Guys, am I going to get in trouble for this? Am I asking for trouble? <laughs> you did not deserve salmon. <laughs> Thank you. 
too much. Wear that just enough. No, that's right. It's not that color. It's like try try to hit. Yeah, that's, that's probably close enough. Hey, Paul, what's up? Okay. Okay, I gotta push the button before she looks over. Is this correct? Probably. Okay, it's just a demo. It's just a demo, guys. Interesting. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm making you the rival. Okay. She was okay with it, guys. Okay, she's okay with it. It's fine. It's fine. Top 10 anime betrayals! <laughs> Dude, we're actually trying to make a compilation of all the betrayals from our channel. Also, sorry, there's no makeup option. You cooked your own dinner. Hey, I cooked dinner yesterday. There's pasta, I like pans here to chicken breast. There's mushrooms, you know? It's, I, I did work, I did work. Sounds pretty damn hostile in here. <laughs> Tell me, is this a friendly rivalry or a hostile rivalry? <laughs> she's got mad skills, but she's also a jerk. We have mutual respect and get along well enough. <laughs> this is what happens. This is the fine line when you're only three, four months into an engagement. <laughs> uh, let's go with friendly. That's terrific. It's nice to have a friend, even if you two are usually on opposite sides of a fight. <laughs> she knows where you sleep. James actually knows where you live. All of these are true. I thought the divorce game was yesterday. It was. Annulment speedrun. <laughs> uh, that's what they thought. Apparently it's like a 15 hour game. We, we could have a few streams of uh, It Takes Two. <sighs> Lastly, which version of the demo would you like to play? I've got a long and short version, so pick whatever suits your needs. What a question. 30 minutes long, 60 minutes of reading aloud. So what you're saying is it's gonna be like two hours. Okay, I think we're all set. Have fun playing Arcade Spirits, the new challengers. Also, it occurs to me that this demo is out early enough that there's probably, there's no voices cast yet, are there? The following is a work of fiction. All references to our trademark classic arcade game titles are used under nominative fair use and should not be considered an endorsement by the publishers or creators. Today is the, the game was yesterday. Today is the real thing. Oh dear. Hey, so you guys. Well, we've cast one, but I can't say who do. Yeah, that's fair. I feel like that's one of the last things they do. Yeah. Ultimate team up. are not good, man. <clears throat> From as far back as I can remember, my dreams are always ones of victory. The roar of the crowd, the gleam of gold, the pulse-pounding action, struggling against all odds to reach the very top. Achievement. Recognition. Triumph. Ah, oh, Silverwing, you made it just in time. Yes, I just started. Good timing, good timing. Hello. How's the how's the, the Elgato work going? Is it is it behaving yet or not quite? 
Uh, when you're young, you don't put much thought as to why you crave victory. You just do. You want to be the very best, like no one ever was. My game of choice is Fist of Discomfort 2, the worldwide esports phenomenon. It's a two-on-two -two strategy fighting game, so you need a reliable partner in order to win. Still broken, uh... It can take some work to figure that stuff out, absolutely. Major esports teams like Play to Win focus entirely on developing their FOD2 skills. And that's what I'm looking for. Dedicated players to win the championship with. Now it is the distant year, future year of 20... And those dreams of victory are what led me here today, to this unusual little arcade in the middle of the city. Hold on, okay, study phone computer repair shop, the clean phone laundromat. I can't read that. I can't read that. Specific something. My longtime rival Cannibal just signed on with Team Play to Win, one of the top esports organizations in the world. So naturally, I wanted to find a great team myself. <laughs> An app on my phone named Iris suggested I come here to good, clean fun. Combination pizzeria slash laundromat slash arcade. She said I'd find a team to help me go for the gold. But, well, that team isn't exactly what I was expecting. The members of G Team GCF, for lack of a better name, aren't focused on my game of choice. They're interested in all sorts of other games, too. Oh, yeah, I love this. So, Pacific Discomfort 2, Fast Car 7. Oh, my God. Fight Bomb Man. Rival Colleges. <laughs> I see what you did there. This monitor is very far away. <laughs> mm. Here, let me introduce them to you. There's Zapper. As the name implies, she's completely into light gun games, blasting away at robots and zombies and zombie robots all day. Mm. <laughs> What's, what, what does Zapper sound like right now? Every so often my keyboard doesn't respond. I have no idea what I've hit. Yeah. What does Zapper sound like? Die! 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 Ugh. I hate this stupid RNG boss fight. Either send drones in a predictable pattern or don't bother sending them at all. <laughs> I mean, can you believe this shit? It's 2020 and game designers are still relying on quarter munch and RNG in their games. Hey Zappers, how's the gunslinging going? OMG Bakugo. <laughs> Not as awesome as I'd like. Kind of boring, honestly. But I need to get some training in for a freestyle competition coming up next month. You know, Get my twirls and swooshes and quick draws nice and perfect. So, maybe take a break and play some Fist of Discomfort 2 with me instead? Hey, you know I'm down. Give me a few minutes to finish this level and I'll be right there alongside you, delivering beatdowns and one-liners. Thanks, Zapper. Okay, that's one. Let's see if I can get the rest on board. The next might be a little trickier. <laughs> Rhapsody is our team's Fist of Discomfort 2 expert. They routinely post videos and blogs analyzing the game, breaking down tactics. A perfect option. Hey, Rhapsody! Interested in uh, actually playing some FOD2 instead of just talking FOD2, maybe? Hmm. Can you, like, give me... Can you give me, like, 20 minutes? I'm reviewing some combo videos that just dropped which totally destroy the current meta. Since Fist of the Comfort 2 is only a few years old, players are still figuring out how to break the game, find cool combos, see what's OP. They haven't even settled on a god good tier list yet. Just yesterday, I stumbled upon a glitch with Tomokaze that basically makes her unstoppable. I tried to recreate it in training mode, but I just couldn't. Hair goals. <laughs> yeah. Well, how about we try to recreate it in game? You can't rush these things, some guy. I'll need to spend some more time breaking it down frame by frame first. Be with you soon. <laughs> Assuming Rhapsody doesn't get lost in that anal analysis. But Domino, maybe he'd be interested in starting right away. Well. <laughs> Domino plays bullet hell shoot em ups. The kind of games that I need intense reflexes and good instincts. As I approach, he's in the middle of avoiding 9,591 glowing pink plasma balls. Hey, Domino! And that's when the screen fills with a giant explosion and the words game over. Ah, the inevitability of inevitability of a game over. Some days you just get the radioactive mutant space bear, and some days the radioactive mutant space bear gets you, I suppose. 
in the end, it's always the bear. Oh, hey, it's you. Come to embrace the absolute void of space and the futility of a fight you can't win. Crushing doom can be yours for one measly quarter. Uh, another time. How about some FOD2 instead? You're very insistent about this FO2 dream, aren't you? I'm curious as to what your goals were in coming here. I just want to play FOD2, that's all. Well, good for you. It's nice to want things. I'll join in the fray, but I'm first time off to the bathroom. I've been holding it so long, my back teeth are floating. Later. Damn. My back teeth are floating. Okay. Next candidate. Jinx is the arcade's driving game expert. She's usually found drifting around corners in Fast Car 7 at impossible speed. One of the FC7 cabinets has been spe specially adapted for her disability. Hand controls instead of foot pedals to give her joints a rest. Hey, Jinx, I was wondering. <laughs> no, never mind. You're clearly busy. Wanted to play some FOD too, huh? That was the plan, yes. Everybody's a bit occupied and you're in the middle of a race, so... Still worth asking. Don't assume things. You're part of this crew now, so we'll make time when we can. Got a busy afternoon ahead, but I can sneak some pra team practice in. Give me 30 to rest my wrist a bit, and I'll be good to go. Deal? Deal. Okay, it's a start. If I can get the last two on board, we'll really have something. Oh okay, yeah, this is pretty... <laughs> it's so cute! Loxley is the arcade's ticket and prize game expert. He has mastered the art of liberating kitty toys from redemption games. And after obtaining a stuffed dragon from Good Clean Fun's crane game, he pops open the lock on the case and puts it back on top. Oh my god. Catch and release, yes. What? It's good to stay in practice. Keep the skills sharp. But no need to deprive a young one of a toy they might enjoy in the process. I want him. <laughs> so the owners gave me the key to the machine, allowing me to put my catches back in there. It's only fair. I only unleash my full talent upon corrupt and unjust arcades such as the palace. This arcade is sacred ground in comparison. <laughs> uh, Silverwing has found a favorite. But enough of that. Did I just hear you're now you're putting together a practice match? Yes! Yes, I am. It's a bit delayed, but it seems to be happening. Then I pledge my sword to your cause. Let me wrap up here and we shall begin the festivities. That's five. And finally, who is it? Who is it? I used to remember. I forget. Oh yeah, I'm a dumbass. She's kind of important. Grace Cooper, a resident programming genius. She's working on her own RPG called The Wanderlust Trail. And surprisingly, she also made Iris, my personal assistant app. Hey Grace, we need one more for an FOD2 match. Are you interested? Oh, hello. Certainly. But I've got this weird bug in my game that I'm trying to hunt down first. For some reason, it's perpetually spawning wheels of cheese when I try to climb this mountain. There's just so much to do before my game is ready for people to play. But I hope it'll be ready soon. Soonish. Eventually. In the future. Early 2022, maybe. I'm sure you'll figure it out, Mom. <laughs> she calls her mom! <laughs> You're adorable. Grace almost fumbles her heavily modified handheld game console on hearing my phone cheerfully chirp at her. You don't have to call me mom, Iris. But you're my mom. Would you prefer a different user designation, mom? Uh, anyway, I'll be with you soon. Promise. Not exactly a thundering wave of enthusiasm. This isn't what I was hoping for when Iris set me up with this team. Cannibals be in the big leagues with team play to win. And I'm in, well, a friendly neighborhood gaming club? Makes me wonder. Choose response based on your personality. We can be quirk, we can be kindly, we can be steady, we can be gutsy, we can be quirky, or we can be flexibly. And that's all six, yeah. They look good, they look really good. Y'all yeah, done good. Uh, they will support my dreams as friends. I could inspire them to be champions. They just need to see how much fun the Pro Tour could be. Alright. Hooray, everyone is friend. Um, I've decided when the full game comes out, because, because James Daring, back in the previous game, he was quirky with a side of, with a side of gutsy. 
whoever this guy is gonna be, he's gonna be gutsy with a side of quirky. That's what we're gonna go. We're gonna go with gutsy this the first round. I'm gonna inspire, inspire them to be champions. Nobody's born a champion. It takes fire, passion, and ambition. They're kind of man the whole pro tour thing. That's up to me to be an inspiration. I'm not saying I need to badger them into it, but if I can get them excited, well, maybe they'd be willing to come with me on this journey. Zapper's absolutely into that. She's got energy to spare. Loxley's also ready for anything, and Jinx isn't one to back down from a fight. First things first, though, waiting on the team for today's practice. Every journey starts with a single step and another bite of now cold pizza bag. Now is not the time for pizza bagel. Yeah, they're all ice cold already. That was fast. <laughs> I regret my life choices. Also, this camera is too small. It's too big. But as I'm pondering that first step, someone else steps foot in the good, in good Kung Fun. Someone unexpected. Someone's unexpected. Oh, it's these bitches. Four cocky... This song is good. Four cocky looking people stand at the entrance of the arcade, smirking at everything. Each wearing a flashy gold team jersey. Wait a minute. That seemed play to win. What are they doing here? The beefy one of the bunch. I think his handle is Blitz. Looks around, clearly unimpressed with what he sees. <laughs> nice broom closet. Where's the arcade? A woman at the side. Yep, that's Divine. I recognize her from her streams. Let's add a little snicker and stage whispers to him in response. I think this is the arcade, Blitz. It's charming, I suppose. Quaint in a way. Likely popular with the kitties. <laughs> a slightly unshaven teammate smirks. While rolling his eyes. That'd be Coda, supposedly the brains of the team. Now, now, Divine. We're here to have fun and play nice. Let's not all be rude and stuff to the local yokels. But I ignore those three. Because there's one more who has my complete and undivided attention. Team. Team, chill. We're here to say hello to some guy's new team. So play nice. They're a bit riled up because we absolutely crushed it in an online tourney, so we wanted to come out and celebrate with you. You wanted to celebrate your win with me? <laughs> hey, Scorpio! It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, you're good, you're good, you're good. We just, we, you missed the introductions, that's it. We, the, the actual thing hasn't started yet. You're good, you're good. Hey, Dios mio! <laughs> Everyone say hi to Scorpio. She, they, they... They, they missed the part with the pronouns and, and a shame. Don't forget, we're also celebrating your acceptance onto this team, too. Look at all of you. You're all so cute. It's good to see you, I guess. But James is any presenting marriage. <laughs> My heart started over the rest of Cannibal's team. They've all wandered off around the arcades laughing and making rude gestures toward the small collection of games. Why'd you bring them? Oh, they're harmless. Cannibal waves it off like it's nothing. Sure, they talk a big game, but they're pretty chill. And from all over the arcade, I can see other teams splitting up, looking to hassle my new friends. The other team. Certainly plenty of hassle to go around. Oh. Okay, so maybe they're a little overexcited. Let me see if I can do anything about this. We can catch up later. Cannibal smiles, looking me in the eyes before turning around and leaving me where I stand. Immediately, the tension in the arcade jacks up to a ridiculous degree. Clearly more than 3.6 regions of an unstable nuclear situation. Not great, not terrible. Team PDUW are quickly finding various ways to cause trouble, antagonizing my new friends, messing with the games. The easiest thing to do would be to avoid all this drama and stay on the sidelines, but that's not what friends do. Even if I'm a relatively new friend, less than a day old, I should step in and help where I can. Some guy! Let me help! Uh, how can a phone app help with playground bullies? 
I'm keeping my microphone input open and echolocating any trouble you may find around the place. Check out your map and pick a place to go. But I don't think you're going to be able to visit everyone before things boil over. Aw, oh, shit. Right, prioritize. Got it. What's happening right now? This is new. Jinx and Domino are dealing with someone from P2W hogging her racing game. I think my rival and I need to have some words about this mess. Rhapsody Zapper and P2Wer are having a loud argument about strategy. Grace and Loxley are being hassled by an absolute unit from P2W. <laughs> Ooh. I like the icons. That's 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 pretty good. Alright, let's. Let's let's. See what's going on. Kick his ass. Go fight the jock. <laughs> uh, is, is, is it because Loxley is over there? Is, is that why Silver Wings? Uh, on the far side of the good can clean fun, Grace is demoing her indie RPG on that fancy homebrew handled game console sort of handheld. Also, what kind of specials do we have? I don't know. <laughs> Wow, this game's easy as hell. Slice, dice, 200 XP. That old guy didn't even put up a fight. That's... That's a shepherd. Not a fighter at all. Blitz, please, you're not supposed to be killing the villager NPCs. I don't see why not. They're packed with tons of XP. I leveled up three times in five minutes, cutting my way through this town. They have XP because they have levels and crafting skills, not because they're meant to be murdered. Also, I appreciate that that's basically like a... Like, that's straight up a Game Boy, isn't it? That's like a... That is a MacGyver Game Boy. I like it. I used to have that Game Boy. Half of you don't even know what a Game Boy is, eh? <laughs> don't know what to say. XP is XP. And they're good XP. Ha! <laughs> Look at the blood spray! So much for the laundry you're carrying, lady. Gonna need to put a stain treatment on that blanket. You... You killed the town weaver. She loved music and quilting and... and... So what's this game called again? Wandering Trial or something? Where's the big bad at the end? I want to skip to the end. No, I knew who she was, but she popped up and I, I couldn't remember who Grace was. Or I couldn't remember that Grace was the, the, the missing person. Is that an arcade game board in a Game Boy? Rule number one, you don't ever fuck with someone's game file. I'll say I do Grace. Grace is pretty good. I'm, I'm digging Grace. Ha! Run, stupid villagers! I've got an axe and you've got heads and I'm gonna use one on the other. That's sm this is a smarmy little little face. This, this little shit. P please, don't. Just give me back my game. Hmm? What was that? Speak up! Can't hear you over all these digital screams and stuff. <laughs> give it back, please, if you don't mind. You're playing it all wrong. Hey, come on. You'll never grow as a game designer without feedback. Don't you want me to test this thing? Ooh. Uh, Stevan, question. How, how, how much, how close to home does this one cut or not necessarily? <laughs> as someone in the, in the industry, of the industry. Not enough game devs really listen to the gamers, you know. They hide and ignore us or ban us from their forums. Or, are you afraid of free speech? Oh, I see what you're doing there. I no, no, it's not that. I just... I... <sighs> okay, I guess. Puzzled as to how this even happened, I try to catch Grace's attention. As she mouths, help me. My way, Bruce. Honestly, not much, but he's representing most of Reddit. Fair. I appreciate that. <laughs> Unable to even raise her voice, so racked with nerves and anxiety. And I barely noticed Loxy sliding up on up next to me. I have no idea how one manages to lurk in the shadows of a brightly lit pizzeria, but he's done it. That such a ruffian should harass our fair grace like this. It's unacceptable. Unacceptable. Something must be done. Fortunately, he's talking quietly enough that the ruffian himself doesn't hear us. Plus, that little speaker is loudly squealing with the screams of the innocent. No! That's not what free speech means, you twit. Yep. <laughs> All the youngins in the chat are get, getting getting amped up. Can we just get Ben and Matt to kick these P2W jokers out? Hey, Ben and Matt, I remember them. 
It's a private business establishment. Management reserves the right to refuse service, yada yada. I say he's ninja, but he can't be. He's talking to a woman. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo. Yo! <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. Uh, and... <laughs> it's probably business, yada yada yada. Would that we could, but alas. They seem a bit distracted by more pressing and dire matters. <laughs> huh? Rep. I look around for Ben and Matt, owners of this privately owned business establishment, and resident authority figures. Hey, there they are. Oh, why do they look so sad? Oh, no. James is CEO of Wool. <laughs> Whoa. Who are way too busy dealing with a couple of washing machines spewing out rich, creamy soap all over the floor. Well, I call this a mess, but it's sort of the elemental opposite of messy. Maybe we could throw a phone party and call it a new selling point? The halves of the heart. Cute, cute, I see you. No, the task falls to us, I'm afraid. As our friends and allies, we are honor bound. And I suggest this be executed in a subtle manner. Lest me attentions turn to full troubles. I propose <laughs> shenanigans. If you can distract this brute in a way that makes him drop the game, I will promptly retrieve it. You want him to drop Grace's custom homemade game console? I have faith in my agility. I can save it from impact with the floor. And this act would break his attention away from it. Albeit if you have a better stratagem in mind, I'm all ears. But we should act swiftly and decisively. What do you propose? Talk him down, Grace for peaceful resolution. Okay, Loxy, it's time for shenanigans. I'll go high, you go low. Forget it. I'll just grab the game away from him. I prefer a direct approach. I'm gonna go with shenanigans. Grace is gonna hate me for this. Yeah, I'm not in the mood to deal with this guy head on. The idea of pulling some epic maneuver on him has a certain bent appeal. So, we run a distraction play? Indeed. I'll get in position. Do what you can to pull his attention away from the game and make him drop it. We'll outwit this dimwit with ease. Tally-ho! Loxley blends back with the crowd, tugging his hoodie up and over his distinctly sharp gaze, becoming a simple nobody. Violencia! <laughs> See? Leaving me to engage with this lunk in some manner that'll tank aggro from him. Let's see. What would work without causing too much chaos? Well, we're in the middle of a tightly arranged restaurant full of tables and chairs and condiments and such, aren't we? Trip and smack a pizza slice right on his back. Whoa, accidentally spill a soda on his pants. That's measured? Damn. Vendetta, vendetta! <laughs> Stumble forward, pull him by the arm. No, we're gonna smack a pizza. Call him Pee Wee. For my next trick, I'll require an extra cheesy slice of cheese on cheese on cheese. Something really gooey and sloppy. Oh boy. With Ben and Matt distracted, I sneak behind the counter with a cat-like witness quickness, fetching my weapon of choice. And then, strolling along as casual as can be... Oh no! How clumsy of me! What the hell? Feeling the sizzling cheese splatter all over his back, the jock staggers forward, dropping Grease's game in the process. <laughs> I love it. Also, I see, I, there's a little bit of Assassin's Creed in there. I don't know if that's the intent or not, but but as a, as a big Assassin's Creed person, I appreciate Just as Loxley slips in nice and low, a vague green blur as his hand snakes out to grab the game just inches above the ground. You bet, eh? Hey. I see you, Malls. I see you. And he's out again before the PGW player even notices what happened. He's too busy looking like he wants to tear me in half anyways. Hey, watch where you're fucking going. Sorry, sorry, my mistake. Are you okay? He angrily wipes at his clothes, natural 20 on stealth, before grabbing a fistful of napkins from a dispenser nearby. You know, conveniently, you know, conveniently, there's a laundromat just over. I know where it is, thank you. I swear, if you wreck my fucking clothes. And he stomps off, having completely lost interest in Grace's game. Thankfully not taking an interest in cold-blooded murder, either. Foster checking... I tr Why? I got my feet up and stuff. I'm, I'm postured, I swear. If I don't posture, my butt hurts. It's true. That is not the game. 
Oh, oh jeez, that was, that was... Worry not, Lady Grace. Your allies shall always be here in your time of need. <laughs> that was dangerous! You could have started a fight. You didn't have to do that. You really shouldn't have done that. But, uh, at least my game is safe. Ugh, oh, what a mess. I have to go restore the database to bring all my friends back. Oh no, killed them all. Um, excuse me, I've got work to do. Um, thank you. Dumb Chuck didn't save either, so her village is safe. <laughs> Maybe. Ah, it seems our swashbuckling antics have not pleased our fair maiden. Nevertheless, I'm quite impressed with your skills, young some guy. Dude, I'm 37. You acted with decisive swiftness to rescue her hard work. Should we be forced to draw blades against the foe in the future? I shall feel a great comfort knowing I fight alongside you. Yay. Okay, we, can we drop the Robin Hood act a bit? It's getting far. That is the quirky? No. Someone does that to my game. It's on, yeah. It's on site. All right, all right, all right. I'll, I'll rule. I dig it. Yeah. Together. Together, no matter what this foul world throws at us. Swords drawn, muskets at the ready. For king and country. All for one and one for all. Forsooth, whatever foe shall stand shall on this day fall. For we have a bond which burns eternal in our light of... Okay, that's laying it on a bit thick even by my standards. But regardless, I appreciate the effort. Life's no fun if you aren't living it to the fullest. And for me, that's a hearty chivalrous attitude. 360 no scope belt and chunk that son of a bitch. <laughs> Yo, Scorpio. <laughs> 360 no scope belt and chunk <laughs> Oh, that's good. Valhalla. Well, our work here is finished. Shall we hark and away before that uncouth fellow comes back seeking vendetta? Yeah, let's get out of here before he comes back and kicks the shit out of us. Yes, that. Yep, definitely a good idea to make ourselves scarce in this area. Okay, where am I going next? All right, all right. Let's let's check let's check on this one. Need to know what's what 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 the hell they thinking? Amidst all the surrounding chaos, I somehow managed to find Cannibal, which is great because this is all her fault. Cannibal, apparently enjoying a nice sit-down, is actively ignoring the pandemonium. I approach. What's the deal, Cannibal? Like, seriously. Cannibal looks at me pleadingly, her frown all too telling that she's not thrilled about the situation either. Hey! I'm hearing some shades of some music I know. Give me a second to enjoy the, the, the beauty of Greg Murals here. That's a little different now. Okay, okay. My hands are tied, some guy. I honestly didn't expect this. You know I wouldn't purposely put you or your friends in this position. Scoopy tooth. So then do something about it. Make them stop. It's not as simple as that. Yes, it is. You just walk over there and you say, Hey, dirtbags, stop being dirtbags. And they stop. I clap my hands together. A job done. Which makes Channel chuckle under her breath. I wish it were that easy. But there's one of me and three of them. Don't forget me. I got your back. Still, two against three is hardly a fair fight. Okay, okay. So I get Loxley and then it's three on three. Let's bust some ass. As much as I'd like to go all vigilante justice, that's my team. Reluctantly, Cannibal lets the smile fade from her lips. I just can't. We train together. They teach me things and already I've seen an improvement in my game. We live together. I can't risk causing a great divide in the house. Not when everything else is fine. I'm sorry. What if it had been me? What if I was put into a house with people who are trash humans but nice to me? <laughs> Nah. There's always something you can do, Cannibal. Even if it means putting yourself in an uncomfortable situation. I sigh, frustrated by the situation. This sucks. This really sucks. I know. Honestly, I'm just doing what I can. Which I know isn't much. But it's what I have to do to be a part of this team. 
I think about all the things I've learned about P2W recently, and about all the things I already knew. I guess, as long as you're happy being with them. There's an uncomfortably long pause. Cannibal looks out past me, past everything, crestfallen. I can tell Cannibal is struggling with the response, which is completely abnormal for her. I would have expected some sort of sassy quip at this point. Whoa. That's a burp. You are happy, right? Yes, I am. How could I not be? We're headed right to the top. We'll be in the championship before you can even blink, some guy. It's what I've always dreamed of. It's what we've always dreamed of. You remember our promise, right? Haha, <laughs> rivals. <laughs> of course. You're meeting me in the finals, in the biggest tournament in the world, no matter what. Good. Because I won't lose to you. Me neither. It's like, I won't lose to me either. Shit. Ha! I've seen your group. You're going to have to train real hard to take me out. As I'm formulating a really clever remark, I hear a crash in the distance. Cannibal looks at me confused. That doesn't sound good. Not one bit. We'll finish this later. Cannibal simply nods as I rush off. Okay, where am I going next? Okay, Rhapsody, Zapper, or Jinx and Domino. Let's check out this one. I want to see what Jinx and Domino are up to. What kind of people are they? Over on the far side of the arcade, I spot Jinx loitering near her beloved Fast Car 7 game. Shifting from foot to foot, legs clearly getting tired quickly. After a while, she isn't comfortably seated behind the wheel and blasting around corners at unsafe speeds, well... Uh, one of the Team P2W players is sitting in her seat, lazily cruising through the turns with one perfectly manicured hand on the wheel. In fact, when I walk up to chat with Jinx, the P2Wer is the one to actually greet me first. Sorry, no autographs right now. I'm totally killing it at this game. I was not planning on asking for one, no. Ah, great. I appreciate that, you know. So many of my adoring fans just won't give me any space or privacy. It's always, oh, I love your streams, Divine, or can I have a hug, Divine, or will you sign my leg, Divine? Ugh. People begin to be so gross. Nobody here wants their leg autographed. Look, I scheduled an online game with a friend coming up soon, so... You want to wrap up your race so I can get a turn? Aw, oh, sorry. Arcade rules, honey. Winner stays on. And I am winning. Only because I modded the game to have weak AI so I can focus on improving my time trials. And you're in my seat. Don't see your name on it, honey. Perfectly good seat right next to this one, too, see? Play on that one. You're in the only one with hand controls. Future DPS. <laughs> one million channel points for James to sign your leg. Shit. I mean, like, like I'd, I'd, I'd do it, I guess. You're in the only one with hand controls. I literally can't use the other. Yeah, that sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. Not my fault you're defective. <laughs> Uh-oh. Jinx's eyelid just started twitching, and I think she's biting her lip and hard enough to draw blood. Look, be a darling and fetch me some water or something, okay? I'll be here for some time. Jinx's grip on her walking cane tightens, to the point where I swear I can hear bones creak. But oddly, she backs down. Damn it. I grabbed that basic bitch by the hair. <laughs> Drag her around. <laughs> you guys. So, Scorpio, Silverwing, you definitely need to check out this other game later when you have a chance. I'll tell you more about it later. I dropped to a whisper. Me and the homies coming up to beat her ass. Dropped to a whisper low enough to not be heard over the digital revs of a digital car engine. Can't you just kick her off? It's your game. You've got priority. Want to, believe me. That's not the way arcades work. Winner stays on. Others quarter up and wait. Besides, Ben and Matt own the game, not me. And they're busy fighting the washing machines. Okay. I could beat her. 
I nearly jump when the wallflower makes his presence felt. I'll race against her. I don't need hand controls. I can use a second player seat. If I beat her, she can't stay on the game. Since when are you a racer? I'm a survivor. I'm pretty sure keeping a ton of virtual metal from flying over the guardrail of a mountain pass is not like playing a schmuck. Dunno. It's a long shot. Or we could just... Convince her to bail? Don't ask me how. Other than breaking your legs, which is where I'd want to start personally. Damn. If we don't play it cool, we risk making the situation with all these P2W toadies more volatile than it already is. Ugh. Not worth. My online race will just have to wait. My friend's pretty busy, but I can reschedule for later. It's the adult thing to do. Don't selfishly boot a player off your favorite game. Just adapt your own plans and move on. But whoever said I was an adult? I want to support G Team GCF, my new friends. How do we make this happen? Domino! I'm very curious to see what, what kind of person Domino is, because, like, reading uh, the... The description and, and, and that that uh, interview was one thing, but I'm very curious to see how 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 he is like like live. <laughs> Domino, you're up. Twitter in your review mirror and cross that finish line. I haven't seen the option. You know what? That's why we're here. Let's see some shit we haven't seen yet. <laughs> As the game dev urges you into a particular direction, I'm cool with that though. Let's do it. Let's do it. Domino, you think you can beat this lazy Sunday driver and take back class Fast Car 7 in the name of Team GCF? Can I? Can I? <laughs> well, honestly, I don't know, but hey, it's worth a shot. Play it cool. I give you some advice as far as you go. Fast Car 7 isn't like driving a, driving a real car. I can't afford a car, so hey, that's fine with me. Let's do this. Domino practically hurls himself into the second player seat. The cheap plastic and fast car seven creaking in protest. He offers a big creepy smile to Divine. <laughs> no, Scorpio, that is not what I was saying. <laughs> Hi. What a race. Uh no? That's fine. I understand. <laughs> I'll just... Oh no, my finger slipped and put a quarter in. Guess I'm joining your race. Hey, these things happen. <laughs> I want to play. Ooh, I like Divine. I thought you might. Yeah. Also, did you see the face he made? Yeah, I saw it. He grips the wheel as Jinx leans in over his shoulder. Ready to give Domino a crash course on how not to crash. Molly, that was fantastic. <laughs> Ugh, fine. Who cares? I've run like eight laps on this course. I'll beat you easily. One of my favorite faces to draw. Nice, nice. Bring it, Little Miss Celebrity Pants. Yeah, funny story. Ash actually used to sell chokers like that with the heart. With the heart on the front. That's funny. Domino, focus, accelerate through the straight, then break coming up to the turn. At first, it worked just fine. Domino's wild and unlearned style is kept neatly in check by Jinx's posts, pokes, and prods, keeping him following solid racing lines. Yes, Ash has the coolest items. She does, and she's got some cooler shit now, too. Saying, Nocturna on Etsy and Shang on Ah, but he hasn't overtaken Divine yet, and the race is almost halfway over. If he's really gonna win this, we need to switch things up. I lean over to whisper an idea. <laughs> Lamaz is working domino. Wanna try demolition derby? Well, trash talk always works against big ego energy. Get under her skin. Guts. <laughs> you know what? It's okay. I'm gonna play. <laughs> If he wins up, I use some chicken nuggets. <laughs> I have seen someone uh, share their bit, their clip of chicken nuggets, which is pretty good. But let's let's check out. I have a feeling. I just have a feeling. Let's check out Gutsy. 
As a PC gamer, I know the true weapon in your arsenal. Being a colossal dick over voice chat. Think you can do that? The Nuggies part was the best. I guess we gotta replay it later and see Nuggies. Uh, Domino, maybe you shouldn't. Nah, it's okay, I got this. It's for you, Jinx. Hey, Divine, tell me. How many streamer bits did that cheap-ass imitation French perfume cost you? Excuse me? The stench of it soaked every pore of my being. I'll take six or seven showers to scrub it all out. How does it feel knowing the only friendships you'll ever have will be parasocial leeches attached to your fame? How often do gamers ask you to buy your bathwater? How many creeps unfollow you on social media whenever you mention you're in a relationship? How awful, how completely miserable this sad little thing you call your life. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Rather than finish the race, Divine, looking genuinely hurt and creeped out, gets up and walks away. <laughs> oh. I'm smiling too much. New curse concept for DPS merch. Dom, you are savage as fuck. Um, sorry. I, I was just, I just wanted to help Jinx out. Domino, it's, it's okay. I'm really not sure what to make of that. Domino slowly releases his tight grip on the wheel and gets to his feet. <clears throat> okay, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Okay. Game's all yours, Jinx. Give Naomi my best. I see you. I see you. I see what you're doing there! I'm seeing what you're doing there! <laughs> like Arcade Lady from last time. <laughs> Yo. Okay, thanks for your help, Domino. She offers him a reassuring hand on the shoulder before carefully settling into the disability assist seat for player game. Oh, Molly, you didn't see that yet either, is it? Ah, we're all seeing things today. And the day is saved, thanks to the dynamic duo of Domino and some guy. I should play non-shmups more often. That was kind of fun. Bit wild at the end, but before that, kind of fun. Interested in PC gaming? Aw. You seemed a bit intense there. Is it okay? Maybe you should take a break first. That game seems to have worked you up a bit. Is, is everything okay? I've never really liked that question. Feels rather loaded to me. Does the person actually care if you're okay, or do they just want a false assurances that you're okay so they feel okay? So they feel okay. I actually care if you're okay. Ah. Well, for the records, please note that I'm as okay as I generally am, and that'll have to do. If you'll excuse me, I think I'll take your suggestion and go chill a bit. Pardon me. It got a little out of hand, but in the end, we got Jinx back on the road. That's what matters. Now, what's left? Also, I'm, I'm staring at the middle, and I just reminded... There's a, there's a, a, a fun story that actually low-key terrified me. Uh, since there's two flowers in here. I remember when uh, the, the artwork of this came out. I'm just gonna... This is a little funny side story. It's kind of funny. It's not that funny. It's a little bit funny. Um, I used to play League. I'm not sad that I got out of that life, but I did play a decent amount of League some years back. And when I saw the logo above uh, above Fist of Discomfort, I, was, I really thought it, it reminded me a lot of the Riot logo. So I was kind of like, is this like a sly nod to the world's most popular MOBA? And, uh, and uh, Two Flies was like, no, it's a Fist, because the game's called Fist of Discomfort. Fair, fair. And then just kind of stop talking. <laughs> it reminded, it reminded me of a, a riot. I'm just, I'm just saying, it happened. Uh, it's getting late. How long are we going to have to deal with Team P2W squatting in our clubhouse anyway? Beep beep, some guy. I'm detecting a buildup of social tension. Please follow the indicator on your map. Just hoping we don't get sued. <laughs> okay, so so it was it was uh, what what's what's it called? It was it was to total incidental. Yeah, I, I figured. I, I did. Yeah, you know it's fine. 
Wait till DPS starts getting the League of Legends problems. Fuck no. No, no, I'm done. I'm done with that life. Never again. Araki's out of that life. I'm out of that life. Colston, I don't remember if he was ever part of that life. Ash was never part of that life. Joyce was sort of in that life-ish. She, 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 she got a swag bag for a, a, a cosplay of Ace Attorney that she said was actually Fiora from, from League. Not important. No, no, not gonna happen. <laughs> oh great, now what? Over the arcade, around the FOD2 machine itself, PTW squares off against GCF. Both sides finally having enough of this mess. If you play League, you will only know Sora. Oh <laughs> yeah. The bush. Oh yeah, she goes with the bush ones. Also, Cruz, what's up? Hey, man. Cruz, also a man who who dodged the life. I was in the law scene back in the day when it was new. Yeah. How are you doing, Cruz? We are playing some demos of games that are not out for another year. But it's fun. Okay. Okay is all right. Open the arcade around. Uh, FP2W squares off against GCF, and both sides finally having enough of this mess. Don't even know why we came to this pathetic little arcade in the first place. Just a prissy little celeb celebutant loser who thinks her follower count is a metric of awesomeness. Bunch of little fragile snowflakes that can't even take a complete waste of time acting all high and mighty when you're... Simply don't understand how the game is meant to be played and with that attitude you never will. I was just trying to explain how I felt. I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to... Leave Grace alone, you fucking loser! Is this really all necessary? can we just drop it? This is getting ridiculous, but I know how to solve it. Gotta wait a year to get this out. Yeah, it's gonna take... Or at least refocus all this aggression into something... else. It's an arcade, isn't it? So let's game. Come on, we'll play a match of FOD2, and then everybody calls it a day, okay? That's it. If we're gonna fight, we fight like gamers. Yeah. If we're done shouting, can we please focus on what we all do best and just play some FOD? Please? No. Angry. Okay, fuck this. We are done shouting past each other. It's time to put up and shut up. Cannibal, we go toe-to-toe -to -toe in FOD2, just like the old days. One ma I just spat on myself. One match to close out this whole mess, then everybody goes home. You gonna step or not? Gotta wash the dishes? Yeah, oh, no worries. Oh, you're gonna miss the minigame, Scorpio. Oh. But also, I don't want you to get- I don't want you to have to get chocolate, so yeah, yeah, go, go, go. Do your dishes, do your dishes. <clears throat> Of course I accept. I just hope you can keep up with me. It'd be a shame if I was all if it was all over before it began. Cannibal steps forward to the from the rest of P2W, welcoming the competition. Coda will join me against you and one of your teammates. Fair? We'll see which team rules and which team drools once and for all. I don't know why he's Squidward, but he's Squidward now. I wasn't planning on raising the emotional stakes of this fight, but. <clears throat> Yeah, do you remember Fist of Discomfort from the first game? Yeah, this is, is the sequel. <clears throat> My throat. I wasn't planning on raising the emotional stakes of this fight, but that old urge to win, to prove myself, it's rising. Yeah, that's right, Paul. A win over Team P2W would do a lot for morale. It'd do a lot for our image. It could be the springboard we need into the future. Our future. Fists of discomfort. Agreed. Let's do this. All three of us are ready to go, but we need a fourth. A partner I can rely on. Two versus two. That's the rule of FOD2. Strongest foot forward. Who do I want to call upon for this decisive fight? Hmm. Maybe Domino... Maybe Loxley. But those are the obvious answers here. I haven't seen Loxley or Grace or Zachary. Okay. Okay. Uh, who else has seen any of the demo and they don't know what to see? Let's. Don't worry about this being like, no, you choose. Let's let's look at this demo. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Uh, so Meta BB hasn't seen Loxley or Grace or Zapper. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Everyone goes straight to the. <laughs> Everyone goes straight to the Asian guy. Oh no. Uh, um, you can do Grace. You play you. I know, but we, we can help each other out. We, we all have finite lives. Finite time in our lives. 
Let's go with Grace. You know what? Let's go with Grace. Each has unique ultimate animations. Ah, <gasps> oh, fun! Grace, I could really use your help on this one. Are you okay with that? I... Yes, I'll help you. You can count on me. Finite times, we're already sitting here watching you, bro. <laughs> You're still a bit rattled from all this conflict today. She's not backing down. There's some fire in there still. Let me give you a quick tutorial on the Fist of Discomfort 2 strategy minigame. Oh boy. Here we go. <laughs> it plays a lot like rock, paper, scissors with defense special attack. Special beats defense. Defense beats attack. Attack beats special. Okay. Your personality will give you some bonus points every turn. A super gutsy person may be better at attacking. Lastly, you can use your ultimate once per game to automatically win a round. If you use yours the same time your opponent does, you counter it perfectly. If you're a little confused, that's okay. Win or lose, the story will continue. Give it your best, and good luck! I believe in you! Okay, think, focus. Cannibal generally loves attack, so I can counter her with defense. As for Koda, he likes to rotate. Attack, then defend, then special, and then... Well, it's, it's a wild card. Win or lose, I need to give it my all. Even if I really, really want to win this, I have to focus on the fight and the fight alone. For the sake of my dreams. Hey. Okay, let's see how this game go. Round one, spring, team scores. Zero, zero. So she likes to attack. Maybe I can attack harder though, that's my thought. You know what? So cannibal wants to come at me? Fine by me. I turtle up and defend against the attacks, keeping myself and my minions safe. Your defend beats their attack. You earn 120 points. Score now 120 to zero. So he likes to rotate. Shoot, what does he rotate first? Oh shit. Shit, shit, shit! I went too far back! I went too far back! I fucked up! Mouse wheel is dangerous, guys. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, what does he like to do first? Shit. Oh no, that was right. I thought that left the metagame months ago. I mean, clearly it didn't work for you. Your defend beats their attack. You ran 140 points. Yes, good. Score now 1260 to 0. Alright. I'm gonna try an attack. You both attack. It's a tie. You earn 50 points. They earn 40 points. Every streamer has the memory of a goldfish. I was thinking about it, and then, but I don't, I don't trust myself. <laughs> this is the takeaway. Everyone forgets what the hell they said last time. So it was attack, defend. I plan on writing this down. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're trying to accomplish with that outdated technique. Your special beats there to defend. You are at 120 points. Scoring out 430 to 40. All right. Round five, fall. Is she just gonna keep attacking? That would be messed up if she did. She is just gonna keep attacking. All right, all right, all right. Cam wants to come at me, fine by me. I turtle up and defend against the attacks, keeping myself and my minions safe. Your defend beats their attack. You are in 120 points. Scoring now 550 to 40. I love this, 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 this sprite. That's a great sprite. I think it's time to attack. Oh shit, I fucked up. Sorry, I didn't spot that one in time. Your opponent used their ultimate. Oh, yeah, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Round 7, winter. Team score. Da -da. Maybe she's going to get desperate. I don't know. Let's try. 
It's a risk using my once per game ultimate, but the time is right. I channel my energy and pour it in one huge splashy attack. Something Cannibal wasn't prepared for. You use your ultimate. You are at 130 points. Score now 680 to 170. I'm gonna get ulted so bad. You know what? Let's see. I should have used her alt. Okay, so the team only gets one alt. It's not each person only gets one alt. Okay, okay, okay. So at this point, it is wild card. Attack. Ooh, what a clever strategy. I mean, I was just a little too clever for it, but you tried your best. Your attack beats are special. Yes. Good. Victory! Your team score 840, your opponent score 170. Yo, we kicked their asses. Good game, everyone. I hope you all had fun. We won? We won! We won a match over the best team in the nation! Wah, 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 wah. All those old instants come rushing in. The thrill and satisfaction of victory. Being P2W feels good. Feels damn good. <laughs> GG! What a great match. GG, everyone. GG and well played. That was a close one, some guy. Had my heart pounding. See? My hands are still shaking. Love that rush. Gotta admit, that was a lot of fun. Just like the old days when we'd run into each other on that on ladder, huh? The code is a bit less sporting about the loss. I call hacks. They have to be cheating. No way a bunch of laundromat losers could beat us. <laughs> I don't even feel like trash talking you. It's too easy. <laughs> Darn, you got me. I used my magical phone fairy to hack the FOD2 servers and fake the score. Then I gave myself a million dollars and rigged an election. <laughs> We nerfed them to oblivion for demo first. Yeah, fair, fair. I see what you did there. Don't you fucking... Uh, uh, mm, mm, mm. Sorry. Don't you fucking mock me. I know you're a cheater, and I'll prove it. I want a rematch. I demand a rematch. Best of three. Only way to prove that it was a fluke. Because it was a fluke. It's not possible. Quite possible, as you see. As the whole internet has seen. Loxley holds up his phone, playing a video he'd been secretly taking of the whole match on P2W's humiliating loss. A bit clickbaity, but I opted to title it Team P2W Utterly Schooled by Local Laundromat Underdogs. Lovely, isn't it? Now the whole world knows your pedestal isn't quite so out of reach. Oh shit. You. You little. I'm about to reply, but I'm cut off. I figured we'd been lurking in the background this whole time, making her presence felt. The coach for Team P2W, Victoria Proud, formerly the E-Starts player, star player, Valkyrie. Yo. Ah. Ah. He also sort of has an aesthetic going. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen her come in with the team. <laughs> I also, I do also love her as hair and aesthetic, yeah. I've seen her come in with the team, but she hadn't talked to anyone since arriving. Quiet like death, only watching and waiting. Oh, the match is over, Scorpio! Don't worry, we won. We did good. Now she glowers at Koda and Cannibal, extremely unhappy with the results. Her frown causing Koda to shift nervously. Uh, uh, coach... I just meant that. She holds a finger to her lips, silencing him. Then, in a turn of eeny, meeny, miny, mo between her two players, her finger eventually <laughs> lingers on Koda. She's gonna beat his brains out. Koda, you're fired. Uh, what? But this whole mess is thanks to Cannibal. She wanted to come here in the first place. Her eyes narrow at Coda's complaints, which stops you mid-sentence. Stop passing the blame. Only, Not only do you look childish, but you made the whole team look bad. And I won't stand for that. She sighs grudgingly, whilst crossing her arms. She's by no means thrilled. Not only are you fired, 
Your non-compete clause means you're not joining any other teams. Ooh. Not that they would have you. Especially not after I tell them you're blacklisted. Yo, that's rough. Be happy I'm not doing I'm not doing anything else. Koda stands there in total disbelief as the other members of his team edge away from him, as if he's suddenly caught in a very communicable and very nasty disease. Defeated, Koda slinks away to a corner of the arcade. With Koda out of the picture, the coach redirects her attention to me? I gulp. And hopefully not too audibly. As for you, some guy, congratulations on your victory. Clearly, you've earned it. But I wouldn't spend all night celebrating. You haven't won some grand war. You're an impressive challenger, no doubt, but take my advice and be content with what you have. She nods and I'm confused. <clears throat> Did she just give me a nod of respect? Oops. <clears throat> this whammon is the villain? Uh, hey, Luciana. Uh, she's the coach of the rival team. So, villain... Depends on your on how you look at it, I guess. She twirls a finger in the air, and the rest of Team P2W follow her out. Even Koda, who's trailing at a safe distance. <laughs> we won. We beat the best team in the nation simply by being who we are. By working together. Nonsense. Everyone dresses like Victorian dominatrix. <laughs> If we can accomplish this, we can avoid becoming a group of toxic jerks like P Team PQW. This could be the start of something great. As I reflect, I note that all of Team GCF are together, unified because of this moment. All of us smiling together. I think I understand why Iris brought me here. They may not have been hardcore FOD2 players like Cannibal's new team, but they are a team. They're friends. They're allies. They're together as one, and I, I've done my best to support them today. They could do anything they set their minds to. Maybe this is the moment. Maybe I can convince them of that. Beep beep! This is an intense identity situation. You can only pick a response that matches your top two personality traits. Yeti, don't do that! Fuck, you guys rule. I mean it. We seriously just kicked P Team P2W's ass. I'm gonna have a hard time saying that. I, got, I need to practice. P team P2W. Team P2W. We just kicked Team P2W's ass. Did you think you'd be doing that today when you woke up this morning? If you ever want to prove that good, clean, fun crew is more than you think it is, there you go. We can hang at the top. We can overcome. And if we tried, like really made an effort, I think we could conquer the Pro Tour. We can be at that level. I say we make a run for it. Win or lose, we owe it to ourselves to try. It's destiny. What do you say? Shit, you know I'm ready. I'm willing to give it everything I got. Let this be the hour when we draw swords together. Fell deeds awake. Now for Ra, now for Ruin, and the Red Dawn. Fourth Team GCF. Reluctant to put myself out there like that, but... Have to admit, your enthusiasm is like a wave. Ride it out at the end, or drown. I'm with you. Oh. I don't know, but if Lynx thinks it's a good idea, well, okay. I'd be willing to try. Interesting. You're gonna have an interesting trajectory, some guy. I'd like to be there to see the end of it. I'm not sure how much I believe in the ultimate battle of ultimate destiny vibe, but this interaction has me thinking. I'm in happening. My dream. My dreams of victory. I found a team willing to go all the way. I've done it. Iris was right. This is where I need to be. Called it. One thing to make absolutely clear. You want to whip this team into something resembling a competitive professional esports crew? <laughs> I... Yes? That's what I said. Okay then you are the one responsible for making that happen. You are our new manager. What? Never had one. Never needed one. Not until now. You want us to take this seriously? We'll need someone who can network, shake hands, make deals, sign paperwork, make travel arrangements, find sponsors. 
And since you're so gung-ho about it, that means it's you. Yes, of course, it makes sense. I'm sure you do a great job as team manager. Maybe you could even find a better name for us than Team GCM. Oh goody, we have a professional cat herder now. Have fun trying to keep this merry bunch on task, some guy. I'd sooner eat glass and take on that job. Uh, sounds like being a con organizer. <laughs> yeah. You're not looking like you this time. A little bit. Uh, yes, yeah, true. Uh, Mr. Mr. Heezy Meezy is former president of the local anime con. That's not doing so hot since he left. I'm just gonna put it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. They, they've had they've had stronger years, and, and that man was at the was at the front of him. Just saying, just saying. But actually, we don't give some guy absolute authority. Saw that creep who runs P2W just up and fired Coda. None of that. You don't get to access or hire anyone new. Now, now, I'm sure we can turn to some guy for leadership without him becoming a tyrant. After all, six Semper Tyrannus. Yes. I think that was a threat. Yes, that was a threat. Just a word of advice from someone who's seen inside and alongside them. <sighs> Just a word of advice from someone who's been inside and alongside of esports in these year for years. It's a lot of hard work. A lot of hard work with barely any thanks or praise. And if anyone has a whisper of negativity, you get the full brunt of it. But overall, you'll do great. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do. Three cheers for manager some guy. Cheers. Cheer, cheer, cheer. I'm getting excited about this. A pro tour run? Can we really do it? Wow. Is someone else doing the, all the paperwork and heavy business lifting? I'm perfectly okay with this. Friends, to the, pizzer to the pizzeria for only the finest and celebratory deep dish pies. Everyone storms Ben and Matt's pizzeria, intent on scarfing down pepperoni and mozzarella by the pound. That's a lot. happening it's really happening i really like this redo of the old theme tomorrow my new friends and i begin our training for the pro tour we're going to be a pro esports team <laughs> this 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 hits a little close to home <laughs> every kid standing on their tiptoes to reach a joystick dreams of one day making their passion into their job and hey what do you know I just accomplished the impossible dream. I needed to buy a Yeti, but I mean, you know, it was worth. <laughs> and doing it alongside the squad of good, clean fun? This is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be a blast. Together, we can accomplish anything. Get ready, 2020. Your new challengers, title drop, are here. Yo. Right now, my goal is to reach affiliate. Is super doable. Um, yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's very doable. I think we made it within. Uh, we did it within the first year. I'm trying to remember how long it took us. Yeah, you know, just slow and steady. You know. Ah, uh, you've completed this demo of Arcade Spirits, the new challengers, victory. Let's take a look at your scores. Loxley's really taking a shine to you. Looks like your personality is full of guts. Strong guts. Thank you so much for playing, and we hope to see you again when Arcade Spirits, the new challenges, launches in early 2022. Ah! Hold on. Let's, let's, do, let's do this proper. Ah. Okay. Arcade Spirits, the new challengers. A romantic comedy narrative adventure in the arcade year 20XX. Build your own player character and rival. Build relationships with seven romanceable characters. Grow your personality through role-playing choices. Manage your team and fight through all obstacles. Fight in the Fist of Discomfort 2 strategy minigame. Import your decisions from the original Arcade Spirits. www.arcadespirits.com slash at Arcade Spirits via... That's not a slash, that's something else. I thought you were gonna... I'm not going to chug jug, you crazy girl. No. Whew. All right, we hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. I thought the mic was a bottle. No, I paid you for it. 
You kid, you kids in the chug jug. What is, what is it with you guys in the chug jug? Ah. All right, that's it. All right, you know what? It's still a little early. We could probably do another run. Maybe we just won't. We'll, we'll talk a little faster. Michael Bublé. Fuck yeah. I, I you know what? We I switched to it. I was like you know, we are, we aren't as young as we used to. This is zero calories. It's no sugar. This might be good for us. I say as I immediately eat another cold ass pizza pizza bagel. Why you know chug the jug? Because I have I only have so much bubbly in the fridge. Gotta get to sleep, but thanks so much. Yeah. Um so for everyone who don't know, uh Mr. Two Flower right there. He is one half of the game devs and writers of this game. So that man made this. So uh thank you so much for sticking through the whole stream. Um I know you got three hours ahead and it's a weekday, so thanks for putting up with us. Uh, that's a fantastic demo. I think I've already established. I'm gonna I'm gonna take another run at this. Absolutely, right right friggin' now. The thing is off centered again. Tragic. We're playing good night two flower. Good night two flower. Yep. Yeah. Oh 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 no oh no oh no no oh no. Die. But like I, I I keep moving the window around, so I keep shifting everything around like an idiot. Good night, everyone. Thanks again. Yeah. So yeah, uh, two flower, Mr. Mr. Gaggy. Thank you again so much, and thank you. Not that, if, in case anyone's watching, anyone from PQ Games over in the UK, thanks for hooking us up with this early demo. Uh, the actual demo, or the the, the public release, is actually uh, tomorrow, so possibly even right now. So. If you guys want to check this thing out yourself, of course, hit up, check out Steam to, tomorrow on the 30th. That is the official release day. And then we'll chill for a year until uh, 2022. And whatever I'm in the middle of playing, uh, when this game comes out, I'll, I'll drop everything to, to get back on, on board with this one. So I'll, we'll definitely do that. Um, prizes. No prizes yet. Fiction Factory Games Production, written by Stefan Gagne and Anna Schumann. Character artwork by no Molly Nemechek. Hey, Molly. Wah, 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 wah. John Bond, Justin Bald. Your icon. Music by Greg Miros. His, I, I play the music in my car a lot from the first game, so I guess I gotta get the second game now. Yeah, the music is great. Nope. I didn't mean to press that. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. But yeah, again, yeah. Th thanks for for hooking us up, and uh, you know what? Let's take, let's look at a few other options. Let's make some more characters. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Why you no chug the jug? <laughs> there will be no chugging of juggings. That did not come out right. Gross. Hey Jamil, did you ever end up uh, giving a run of Arcade Spirits yet, or not? Not yet. No username, password, check the eyes. All right, let's make some new characters. Let's, let's, let's play some new. Let's play some new people. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, so Scorpio, I want you to check this out. I'm just gonna skip ahead for a second. Scorpio, look at all the options. Look at all the options. Your options in here. Even your option is in here. Oh man, they just, they got they got you covered. All right, let's see who. Okay. All right, I got I got a brilliant idea. Not yet. Every game I plan on playing took a backseat because I got addicted to 14. <laughs> yep. That's what I do. Alright. This is going to be the worst idea I've ever do. I ever do. But it's going to be great. Well, I know that feel. First name. Is this a bad idea? Guys, please stop me if this is a bad idea. I don't know, I'm gonna keep doing it. Did 
You know what? He can have dice. <laughs> you beat me to asking. <laughs> We'll go, we'll go with a nice red, we'll go with a nice red green colored shirt. I'm going to hell, guys. <laughs> Probably want to do this by himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I told I told Colson that the uh, the email that we got all this the the press info and all that stuff from um uh it is in there if you want to play the demo. He kind of went ooh, so I don't know if he will or not. But in case he doesn't, we we got him we got him covered. We got him covered. memes please what did you put in choice memes <laughs> yep I'm not I'm not I'm not drinking the chug chug all right why is his hair so white that's that's Colston man hello <laughs> I regret everything <laughs> Okay. Who is who is the evil who is the evil Colston? I got a, I I got an idea for that too. Anyone who's not of us, you don't need to worry about this part. Sparkles make everything better. Hey, Roger, what's up? Hello. If you don't know who I am, oh, I might use, use formal clothes for the evil Colston. I could, but I also have another idea for this one. Luciana, do we know each other better than I think we do? I'm sorry. Silo's like, really? Silo knows what's up. <laughs> I think an evil Colson would be bedazzled. He would. This is not actually evil Colson. This is a. Uh, this is another evil character that we know. Friend, how is you? Pretty good. Um, we're having a real good time right now because we got early access to this demo. Although the the demo is open to public starting uh, like tomorrow. <laughs> color can't be changed good to have it in with the dev team um no we were pretty like yeah so anna uh the other writer of the game she uh messaged us on twitter which is hey 
We're doing a big press rush of uh, new stuff for uh, for uh, the the new game. Like, did you guys want in on as like uh, some stuff so that because we're doing uh, we're letting uh, streamers get early access to it. So we're just like, fuck yeah, that'd be awesome. Also, I realized I I correct up my thing. It is not lined up properly. Bigger. Now it is too much big. Nope, that's fine. Right, you you go back to the corner. You go back to the corner, you think about what you've done. Okay. Uh good, good, good. Alright, what what's okay, we'll put him in a The inspiration for this character should not should not be this jacked, but it's fine. Decorator precise with using sequins beats glitter, yep. Pants can be a hairstyle will be The hairstyle will be no hair because because he can't find anywhere that will cut his hair. Huh? You can see that the info. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later, <laughs> Cruz. The, the, the more the people that le le leave who know, who know what's up will we'll understand what's up. <laughs> no brim. Give him no brim. Oh, no. no. Like the hat with no brim? I want that. Uh, I don't even know what color his hair is anymore. I'm going to hell. I'm going to hell, guys. I'm going to hell. Not really. Be a jerk. No hat from sorry. Lastly, which version of the demo would you like? Long demo. No such thing as a short demo. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. What are you guys talking about? Uh, he's he's a he's a guy we know. He's a guy we know. That's the short version of it. He's kind of a problem guy. You're so cold. I might skip through a little bit more of this. From as far back as I can remember, my dreams are always ones of victory. The roar of the crowd, the gleam of gold, the pulse pounding action, struggling against all odds to reach the very top. Achievement. Recognition. Triumph. When you're young, you don't put much thought into why you crave victory. You just do. You want to be the very best, like no one ever was. Now, game of choices, fist of discomfort too. The worldwide esports phenomenon. It's a two-on-two -two strategy fighting game, so you need a reliable partner in order to win. Major esports teams like Play to Win focus in Thailand, developing their FOD2 skills, and that's what I'm looking for. Dedicated players to win the championship with. Now is the distant future year of 2020, and those dreams of victory are what led me here today. My longtime rival Pip just signed on with Team Play to Win, one of the top esports organizations in the world. So, naturally, I wanted to find a great team myself. An app on my phone named Iris suggested I come here. The good, clean fun. A combination pizzeria, laundromat, arcade. She said I'd find a team to help me go for the gold. Well, that team isn't exactly what I was expecting. Team members of Team GCF, for lack of a better name, aren't focused on my game of choice. They're too interested in all sorts of other games, too. Here. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's just funny and for, for those of you who know colson is is red green cl colorblind so apparently this is basically what everything looks like to him <laughs> it's kind of brown there's zapper as the name implies she's completely into light gun games blasting away robots and zombies and zombie robots all day 
Da, da, da. Ugh, I hate this stupid RNG boss fight. You just send drones in a predictable manner. Don't bother sending them at all. I mean, can you believe this shit? It's 2020 and the game designers still rely on quarter much in RNG in their games. Yeah, he's, he's red, green, uh, blind. Hey, Zapper, how's the gunslinging going? Not as awesome as I'd like. Kind of boring, honestly. But I need to get some training for a freestyle competition coming up next week. You know, get my twirls and swooshes and quick draws. That's some perfect. So it's my best friend. I gave her so much shit about it because I'm an ass about it. Well, apparently, the other day, we had, we realized that that was going to come. Because Colson's cooking more? And you're like, Colson, how do you know when the ground beef is cooked? When it changes from red to brown? Right. <laughs> Also, there's a story about, about moldy bread that's amazing, and it's on Instagram. So, maybe take a break and play some Fist of Discomfort 2 with me instead? Want to play a card game? Hey, you know I'm down. Give me a few minutes to finish this level, I'll be right there alongside you. Delivery beatdown for one-liners. Thanks, Sapper. My first story. <laughs> okay, that's one. Let's see if I can get the rest on board. The next might be a bit trickier. Plus, the gray Yoshi on Mario Kart? I'm not sure. <laughs> it was moldy bread. Paul knows what's up. He knows the story. Rhapsody is our team's Fist of Discover 2 expert. They routinely, post, they, they routinely post videos and blogs analyzing the game, breaking down tactics. A perfect option. Yeah. Rhapsody is cool. Rhapsody is uh, is a NB character. The bread story was hilarious. I love the bread story. Rhapsody, interested in uh, actually playing some FOD2 instead of just talking FOD2 maybe? Can you give me like 20 minutes? I'm reviewing some combo videos that just dropped which totally destroy the current meta. Since Fist of Discover 2 is only a few years old, players are still figuring out how to break the game, find cool combos, see what's OP. They haven't even settled on a good tier list yet. Just yesterday, I stumbled upon a glitch with Tomokaze that just basically makes her unstoppable. I tried to recreate it in training mode, but I just couldn't. Well, how about we try to recreate it in game? Can't rush these things, Colsto. Every time someone says that, I'm going to laugh. I need to spend more time breaking it down frame by frame first. Be with you soon. Assuming Rhapsody doesn't get lost in analysis. But Domino, maybe he'd be interested in starting right away. Domino plays bullet hell shoot 'em ups the kind of games that need intense reflexes and good instincts. As I approach, he's in the middle of avoiding 9,591 glowing pink plasma balls. Hey, Domino! And that's when the screen fills with a giant explosion and the words game over! Ah, the inevitability of a game over. No! And then I fucked up my shit again. No. Because I, I have the game windowed, so... Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Some days you get the radioactive mutant space bear, and some days radio radioactive mutant space bear gets you, I suppose. But in the end, it's always the bear. Oh, hey, it's you. Come to embrace the absolute void of space and the futility of a fight you can't win. Crushing Doom can be yours for one measly quarter. Uh, another time. How about some FOD2 instead? You're very insistent about this FOD2 dream, FOD2 dream aren't you? I'm curious as to what your goals were in coming here. I just want to play FOD2, that's all. Well, good for you. It's nice to want things. I'll join in the fray, but first I'm off to the bathroom. I've been holding it so long my back teeth are floating. Later. Okay, next candidate. Jinx is the arcade's driving game expert. She's usually found drifting around corners in Fast Car 7 at impossible speed. One of the FC7 cabinets has been specially... One of the FC7 cabinets has been specially adapted for her disability. Hand controls instead of foot pedals to give her joints a rest. Hey, Jinx, I was wondering... No, never mind. You're clearly busy. Wanted to play some FOD too, huh? That was the plan, yes. Everybody's a bit occupied and you're in the middle of a race, so... Still worth asking. Don't assume things. You're part of this crew now, so we'll make time when we can. Got a busy afternoon ahead, but I can sneak some team practice in. Give me 30 to rest my wrist a bit, and I'll be good to go. Deal? Deal. It's a nice touch where it's literally just like, let me rest my wrist because I've got dis disability. Okay, it's a start. If I can get at least the last two on board, we'll really have something. Loxley is the arcade's ticket and prize game expert. He's mastered the art of liberating kitty toys from redemption games. And after obtaining a stuffed dragon from Good Clean Fun's crane game, he pops up with a lock on the case and puts it back on top. Catch and release, yes. What? It's good to stay in practice. Keep the skills sharp, but no need to deprive a young one of a toy they might enjoy in the process. 
So the owners gave me the key to, to the machine, allowing me to put my catches back in there. It's only fair. I only unleash my full talent upon corrupt and unjust arcades such as the palace. This arcade is sacred ground in comparison. But enough of that. Did I just hear now you're putting together a practice match? Yes, yes I am. It's a bit delayed, but it seems to be happening. Then I pledge my sword to your cause. Let me wrap up here and we shall begin the festivities. That's five. And finally, I don't know why, I love his face. It's a good face. That's actually something I would like to see. I would like there to be facial hair options. But we shall see, we shall see. Grace Cooper, our resident programming genius, she's working on her own RPG called The Wanderlust Trail. And surprisingly, she also made Iris, my personal assistant app. Hey, Grace, we need one more of for F <laughs> That's a, this the damn smile. Yeah. We need one more for an FOD2 match. Are you interested? Oh, hello. S certainly, but I've got this weird bug in my game I'm trying to hunt down first. For some reason, it's perpetually spawning wheels of cheese when I try to climb this mountain. There's just so much to do before my game is ready for people to play. But I hope it'll be ready soon. Soonish. Eventually. In the future. I'm sure you'll figure it out, Mom. You're the best! Grace almost fumbles her heavily modified handheld game console on hearing my phone cheerfully chirp at her. You... You don't have to call me Mom, Iris. But you're my mom! Would you prefer a different user designation, Mom? <sighs> anyway, I'll be with you soon. Promise. Not exactly a thundering wave of enthusiasm. This wasn't even what I was hoping for when Iris set me up with this team. Pip is in the big leagues with play, team play to win. And I'm in, well, friendly neighborhood gaming club. Makes me wonder. Hmm. Maybe they'll support... This is a Colson answer. Maybe they'll support my dreams as friends. They've been friendly to me, despite waltzing in off the street asking to join them out of the blue. They could have laughed me off, but didn't. Even if they aren't as focused as other teams. I forgot, I will suggest for the people of the game, make an opinion who the main character has no knowledge about arcades at all. Ah. Uh, yeah, um, they have a Discord if you, if you are not familiar. Uh, yeah, pop on in. Maybe they got some ideas. Um, but I mean, the, the other tricky thing is, because I, I know the, the whole, the point of this alternate universe is that, um, begin like after begin working in place. Can't believe I'm watching a Colson RP. <laughs> um, but it's supposed to be a world where like arcade gaming is like very mainstream. It's like literally everyone plays games still. So uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, even if they aren't as focused as other teams, I wonder if they'd support my dreams anyway. I mean, Iris had to lead me to them for a reason, right? Grace and Loxley both certainly have kind hearts, and despite Domino's cynicism, I'm getting this weird feeling he wants to support me as well. First things first, though, waiting on the team for today's practice. Every journey starts with a single step. But as I'm pondering that first step, someone else steps foot in good clean fun. Someone unexpected. Someone's unexpected. Oh no. Four cocky looking people stand at the entrance to the arcade, smirking at everything, each wearing a flashy gold team jersey. Wait a minute! That's team play to win. What are they doing here? The beefy one of the bunch. I think his handle is Blitz. Looks around, clearly unimpressed with that what he sees. Huh. Nice broom closet. Where's the arcade? A woman at his side. Yep, that's Divine. I recognize her from her streams. Let's add a little snicker and stage whispers to him in response. I think this is the arcade, Blitz. It's charming, I suppose. Quaint, in a way. Likely popular with the kitties. Slightly the unshaven teammate smirks while rolling his eyes forward. That'd be Coda, supposedly the brains of the team. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with Squidward. Now now, Divine. We're here to have fun and play nice. Let's not all be all rude and stuff to the local yokels. But I ignore those three. Because there's one more who has my complete and undivided attention. This fucker. Pip? <laughs> well, well, well. Looks like little Colstow found himself a little team after all. I'm just speeding all over myself as I say that. I was so worried about you, truly. I thought no team was going to accept you. Seriously though, I'm loving the vibe here, Colstow. My friends and I are going to stay a while and enjoy the atmosphere. Peach U W! Pip snaps his fingers and his teammates snap to attention. Spread out! With a fancy wave of his hand, 
Team PQW disperses around the place. Immediately, it's clear they're keen on they're keen to start some trouble. You know what? I'm itching to play some games too. Without parting words, Pip looks me dead in the eyes before turning around and leaving me where I stand. <laughs> Immediately, the tension of the arcade jacks up to a ridiculous degree. Clearly, more than 3.6 rounds of an unstable nuclear situation. Not great, not terrible. Team PQW are quickly finding various ways to cause trouble, antagonizing my new friends, messing with the games. The easiest thing to do would be to avoid all this drama and stay on the sidelines, but that's not what friends do. Even if I'm a relatively new friend, less than a day old, I should step in and help where I can. Colstone, let me help! Uh, how can a phone app help with play playground bullies? I'm keeping my microphone input open and echolocating any trouble you may find around the place. Check out your map and pick a place to go. But I don't think you're going to be able to visit everyone before things boil over. Right. Prioritize. Got it. Angry Colton. That's something rare to see. <laughs> What's happening right now? Alright. This is the one we didn't see last time, so let's go check this out. Rhapsody is apparent in a Off to one side of the laundry room, I spot a small gathering. Rhapsody and Zapper, as well as the P2W metagame Brainiac called Coda. <laughs> Weren't you a member of P2W for like a very short time? I guess you only stayed up on the metagame when you actually had a good team. Everyone knows Tomukaze is headed for Nerf City. It's patently obvious. She's way too flexible, which makes her too powerful. Nearly every major FOD2 team runs at least one, if not several, Tomokaze specialists, making the meta so predictable it hurts. Once they nerf her, she'll be as good as gone from the game. There's always going to be... <laughs> what did Rhapsody's voice sound like? There's always going to be a place for a middle-of-the-road character like Tomokaze. She's a solid pick. It's my impression, but they changed the system a bit. Uh, which, which part of the system? Individually, she's not that powerful, but Paired is where her true power shines. She's easy for new players to pick up and play. So she's Master Yi. <laughs> so no, I don't think they will change her dramatically anytime soon. Who cares about noobs? FOD2 needs to retain the core player base and satisfy the demands of the players. The competitive scene can't grow with such an obvious main pick at the heart of the metagame. Tomokaze has to go. You're a moron for not seeing that. A flunked out moron. Uh, what's wrong exactly? Oh, thank RNG. Jesus. <laughs> That's cool stuff. <laughs> uh, talk some sense into these two, okay? All this metagame yammering is boring. Who cares about what characters are in or out of the game? Who gets buffed or nerfed? You adapt or die. You can't just remove Tomokaze. Think about that, how that would impact the game. All we'll have are characters that are too difficult to learn, which will drive new players away. And new players grow the competitive scene, not character removal. Whatever, moron. Ugh, my brain is leaking out my ears. All I hear is slosh, slosh, slosh. Ah, so it's the debate about FOD2 nerd stuff. Still, if I can step in and close this down, that's one less flashpoint of conflict going down in our arcade. Rhapsody is right. Without a simple, flexible character at the heart of the game, newcomers will have a hard time. Zapper's right. Ultimately, it's up to the players to adapt to whatever changes may come. I'm sorry, did you seriously just call my friend a moron, Coda? How is that helping? Uh. Oh! Hello! Yo! Anna! Hello! What's up? Um, so, uh, everybody, um, as we all just, uh, give a nice friendly welcome to you, Miss, uh, Anna Schumann, one half of the writing team of Arcade Spirits, the new challengers. Everyone say hello. I should do a thingy. I should do a thingy. I should do a thingy. Uh, do, 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 Sharky, Anna. Yeah. At Dead and Night. Oh, right. I heard it was getting spoopy over there. So, hello. Um... So this is actually our second run of uh, of of the of the of the demo right now. Uh, hype train, what? Hype train fan? Yeah, that's cool. Ninety-seven viewers. Let's fucking go. 
Uh, click the DPS name to make your view count as real view, not just a raid. Oh, shit. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, please, if you could. Uh, yeah, so, um, it's been fun. Uh, we... Some of the, the newer members of the of, of the, the, the stream who haven't seen much of the, the original game, they they wanted blood. <laughs> so we had, we had a very gutsy run, the first demo. So it was pretty good. Uh, so, um, yeah, so we're, we're in the middle of the conflict. Uh, I've remade our characters. So uh, they are they are my teammate, Colston. And another dude that we know locally who's who's a problem, so we'll make we'll make that guy the bad guy tonight. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Blood. No, Emo, go away. I don't need you. Oh damn. That's cool. Alright. So let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. Via Violencia. Vendera, Vendera. Uh let's go with Zapper. She has a defined voice in today's night, in, in this night's stream. I gotta agree with Zapper here. Armchair quarterback is not the same as being on the line of scrimmage. You have to adapt. Exactly. We plan, God laughs. You can theory craft all you want, but in the middle of a match, you just do whatever works. Tomokaze or no Tomokaze. What? So you go into a fight with no build in mind at all? Not even an item purchase list for dojo power-ups? Adapt your plans on the fly. Let's. You know what? This is Colson. Colson is not a gutsy. <laughs> Colson is a very measured man. Colson is going to go to that. <laughs> okay, I didn't mean to take it that far. I'm still. I still go into each match with a game plan. Just that I'm willing to bend that plan as needed. No. Being honest here, Zapper. I like keeping my options open and changing to meet the needs of the fight, but I'm not flying blind. It's a good point. Striking a balance is a valid approach, and Tomokaze is great at striking that balance. She's too balanced. She's too powerful. Ugh. You know what I mean. You can go on and on about flexibility all you want, but with this low skill floor character in the mix, you'll get mauled by noobs every time. <laughs> Are you seriously saying you could get whooped by a total newbie just because they use Tomokaze? Ooh. Wow, you must really suck to have such a little faith in your own skills. That's kind of sad, my dude. <coughs> That's not what I... That's... Aw, oh, forget it. There's no talking to you pathetic fanboys. When FOD2 crashes and burns, mark my words. I'll have told you this would happen. Consider a mark. Finger guns. Zapper gives him the old finger guns before Koda stomps away in a huff. For someone who was supposed to be brains in PTW, he didn't have much critical thinking. Maybe next time it'll be a real debate instead of tossing insults. I'm going back to watching this stream. Colorblind people aren't actually allowed to fly. Trust me, I've heard my dad rant over Oh, shit. I didn't know that. We should tell Colston about that. Colston, you can't be a pilot ever. Uh... She refuses. I'm going back to watching this stream. Boo, I'm sorry. See, this is why I like having you around. You shake things up. We really need that if we're ever going to break out of stagnation. I'm just doing what I can to support my friends. I'm sure you're doing this. Just, oh no! <laughs> Call me Sir Mix a lot because I mix things up nice and smooth with a point because I'm Colston. Also, I like big butts, and I cannot lie. <laughs> hey, who doesn't like big butts? Big butts rule. Anna, did you write this part of the game? Anna, you wrote this part of the game, didn't you? <laughs> but seriously, thanks. We need another wild card in the mix. I think we'll get along just dandy. I'm out. Later. Okay, where am I going next? Oh no, we're down to two times. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. 
There's a thing about chicken nuggets we gotta check out. That's what we gotta do. We gotta go, go investigate the chicken nuggets. So we saw this bit already, but we'll take a different approach. I agree 100%. <laughs> cheese the jock. <laughs> okay. Over the far side of the arcade, it's fine. No, we already cheesed the, we already cheesed the jock. We don't need to cheese the jock again. We gotta see something else. Over the far side of the arcade, I spot Jinx loitering around her beloved Fast Car 7 game. Shifting from foot to foot, legs clearly getting tired quickly. As for why she's uncomfortably seated, you're not doing the voice You're not doing the voice character Colston right. <laughs> I, don't, well, the, I expected him to have a much different voice when he was streaming, and then it's just, it was just his normal talking voice. I was very disappointed. As for why she's uncomfortably seated behind the wheel and blasting around corners at unsafe speeds, well, one of the Team P2W players is sitting in her seat, lazily cruising through the turns with one perfectly manicured hand on the wheel. In fact, when I walk up to chat with Jinx, the P2Wer is the only one who actually greets me first. Sorry, no autographs right now. I'm totally killing it at this game. I was not planning on asking for one, no. Ah, great. I appreciate that, you know. So many of my adoring fans just won't give me any space or privacy. It's always, oh, I love your streams, Divine, or can I have a hug, Divine, or will you sign my leg, Divine? Ugh. People can be so gross. Nobody here wants their leg autographed. Look, I scheduled an online game with a friend coming up soon. So, do you want to wrap up your race so I can get a turn? Ah, oh, sorry. Arcade rules, honey. Winner stays on, and I am winning. Only because I modded the game to have weak AI so I can focus on improving my time trials. And you're in my seat. Don't see your name on it, honey. Perfectly good, perfectly good seat right next to this one, too. See? Play on that one. You're in the only one with hand control. I literally can't use the other. Yeah, that sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. Not my fault you're defective. Uh-oh. Jinx's eyelid just started twitching, and I think she's biting her lip hard enough to draw blood. Look, be a divine, be a darling, and fetch me some water or something, okay? I'll be here for some time. Jinx's grip on her water cane. Her water cane, that's not right. Her walking cane tightens, to the point where I swear I can hear her bones creak. But oddly, she backs down. Damn it. I drop to a whisper low enough to not be heard over the digital revs of a digital car engine. Can't you just kick her off? It's your game. You've got priority. Want to, believe me. But that's not the way arcades work. Winner stays on. I'll just quarter up and wait. Besides, Ben and Matt own the game, not me. Okay, so get Ben and Matt to come over here and boot her off the thing. They're... distracted. I look around for Ben and Matt, owners of this privately owned business establishment and resident authorities figures. Who are way too busy dealing with a couple of washing machines spewing out rich, creamy soap all over the floor. Well, I call this a mess, but it's sort of the ele elemental opposite of messy. Maybe we could throw a foam party and call it a new selling point. Ah. Ah, I see. I could beat her. I nearly jump when the wallflower makes its presence felt. I'll race against her. I don't need hand controls. I can use the second player's E. If I beat her, she can't stay on the game. Since when are you a racer? I'm a survivor. I'm pretty sure keeping a ton of virtual metal from flying over the guardrail of the mountain pass is a lot more like playing a shmup. Don't know. It's a long shot. Or we could just convince her to bail? Don't ask me how, other than breaking her legs, which is where I want to start personally. If we don't play it cool, we risk making the situation with all these P2W toadies more volatile than it already is. Um, I see where you're going from. Uh, the fun, the fun nature of uh, the fun nature of the arcade spirit games is, uh, it doesn't matter. Um, if you are a man interested in men, they will react to that. If you are a woman interested in men, they will react to that. If you're somewhere in between and you're interested in, in that, they will react to that. Um, it's like it's 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 a uh, Schrodinger sexuality. Until you make a choice, they both are and are not. <laughs> uh, so it's a very it's a very liberating game in that sense. So uh, you know you you romance whoever you want, however you want, and uh, that's one of the, the cool selling points of the game. He is wearing a crop top though. It's true. If you're not into anything, also an option. If you're not into anything. 
And Scorpion, I need to tell you about the the previous game some more, but we'll get to that in a bit. Anyways, if we don't play it cool, we risk making the situation with all these the more volatile it already is. Ugh, not worth. My online race will just have to wait. My friend's pretty busy, but I can reschedule for later. Seattle thing to do. Don't selfishly boot a player off your favorite game. Just adapt your own plans and move on. Whoever said I was an adult? I want to support G Team GCF, my new friends. How do we make this happen? Just unplug the game? Yeah. Coulson is not that ruthless. Okay. I said we would check out the chicken nuggies, but... But, uh... Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. I'm just gonna run across this. I was like, we, we already did this, did this before. Where we, we let him challenge her. That's not true. You cannot... Dating your best friend and the old lady. Right, you can't date the old lady. This is true. How are the pizza bagels? They are so cold. And so gross. Actually, you, you missed a bit. For... for I, I, I'm committing to this bit. So we're eating the pizza bagels. We had baked salmon tonight. Ash made salmon. And... It was like garlic butter and lemon and cream sauce on on the salmon and it was so good there's still more salmon i went back for seconds and then i have to eat this shit afterwards <laughs> it's tragic well i've already eaten half of them i got i got you now maybe maybe i'll warm them up later i don't know it's like i got i got a pumpkin pie. i bought a pumpkin pie we have i want to have hold on hold on i i need you guys to understand this for a second actually okay want to race. <laughs> I just want to see what happens here because hold on hold on if you win this I'll buy you some chicken nuggets if you win this I'll buy you all the chicken nuggets you could ever want and his face lights up like a Christmas tree nuggies <laughs> he puts his foot on the floor causing his virtual car to leap forward Nuggies, 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 nuggies. <laughs> Holy shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She swords to avoid a collision. Nuggies. <laughs> Win's a win, I guess. That's fucked up. Okay, that's hilarious. Also, give me one second here. You guys need to. Chill to a minute. Chill to a minute. So, I guess actually, well. So, I need you to understand. This is what we had for dinner. That is some legit salmon. Like, it's beautiful. It's not dry. It's not overcooked. It is, like, mm, it's good stuff. So, this is what we had for dinner. And it was amazing. You better send me some of that. And right now, I'm eating this piece of shit. <laughs> it hurts. It hurts my heart. But we're committing to the bit. So, here we are. However, there's a piece Committing to the bit. Which reminds me, when's cooking stream? Um, that's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> One day. One day it will happen. I don't know. I, yeah, I still owe you guys a cooking stream. We're pretty settled in now, so maybe, I don't know, maybe, uh... <clears throat> that salmon needs some Uncle James rice. It was on rice. We didn't we did have it with rice. Which is actually, hilariously, the first time we've actually cooked rice in the new apartment. Um... So that felt good, too. I'd pay to see Colston cook. Apparently he's cooking a lot more, Jamil. That's what I heard. Anyways, uh... I've got an idea for how to put Mr. Love Streamer here on the spot for taking your seat. Oh, are we, is Colston gonna guilt trip her? 
Celebrity can be a double-edged sword. If this divine values her image enough, maybe we can turn her shameless attitude against her. Oh, I see what he's dealing with this. Jinx. Permission to play the disability card? <laughs> My knees are fucking killing me, so yeah. Make like Exodia and obliterate her. <laughs> Make like Exodia. Jesus. People hogging resources set aside for the disabled are going to the special hell. And I make the travel arrangements. It gets better? Oh boy. Okay. But you're sure you're okay with me playing advocate for you? You seem more like a self-advocate sort of person. Let's say I'm curious how you're going to swing this, so I'm willing to step back just this once. Besides, I'd probably just lay into her like the fist of an angry god. Fisting sounds kind of productive. <laughs> Good luck, Goldstone. <laughs> All right, Domino might be my my. He's he's in the the runnings for my favorite character. Like uh, he see he seemed really fatalist and whatever. I didn't realize he was gonna be this like, this bitey. Oh man. I walked back over to the fast car seven, sliding my phone into my open palm, but hand turned away to hide it for the time being. Hey, excuse me. Where's my water bottle? Racing is thirsty work. I just wanted to confirm something with you. Did you seriously just tell my friend, it's not my problem your legs don't work? Did I stutter? Ugh, these laundromat plebs, I swear. Just making sure. Okay. Hey, the cell phone's got the, 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 the pixel heart. Nice. I whipped my phone up, opening apps for all the random social media websites I kept signing up for. How do you spell divine? Two eyes, or is there a Y somewhere in there? <laughs> what? Hey! You can't post that! Why? You confirm that you said it. And once everyone finds out you're ableist, have fun keeping your contract the oh. I I said nothing of the sort. You can't prove that. Iris, you're keeping an open microphone rolling, right? Mind spinning that back for me? Sure thing, Colsto. And what do you know? My pocket privacy violation echoes Divine's own words back at her while I prepare my posts. Yeah, that sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. Not my fault you're defective. So to make sure I'm tagging this right, you're at Divine PTW on Twitter, the Divine one on Facewall, and Divine was taken on Pixstagrammer, right? You, you can't do this. I won't let you. Hey, that's a Watchmen reference, and I appreciate that. Sort of. What was it, 35 minutes ago in Watchmen? Walk away and I'll delete the recording. That's, oh, shit. Is Colston, okay. We know Colston would be like this, but this, I, I gotta see this. I gotta see, I gotta see. Yeah, that sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. Not my fault you're a lousy person. In the background, I actually hear Jinx giggle before she stifles it while trying to retain her cool and collected self-image. With my finger hovering over the button, the streamer still considers her options. <sighs> Fine, whatever. Play your silly game. I'm done with it. She sneers at me before climbing out of the driver's seat and marching away. Huh. Clever move. I can see my work here is done. <laughs> you didn't do anything. <laughs> Domino mimics when she came in fluttering away. Yo, that's a Sailor Moon reference. I am so loud right now. I'm super loud. It's 1030. I need to not be so loud. <laughs> that's a bit funny. Look at that. You didn't do anything. <laughs> uh, that's beautiful. Not bad. Not bad at all. Personal responsibilities, my kind of kind of personal responsibility is kind of my thing. Admit to your mistakes, make amends for them. Forcing her to face the music feels good. Plus, now I don't have to get arrested again for assault. Right. Colson Sailor Moon cosplay. <laughs> Wait, again? Uh, something of a temper. I'm 
I was very hot-headed, very impulsive in my wild years. Settled down a bit now, but sometimes, sometimes it bubbles up. Like when someone leaves the toilet seat up. Like when someone disrespects your disability. Like when someone cuts you off in traffic. Um. Like when someone disrespects your disability. Got it in one. Honestly, most of the time, it's just people making mistakes because they normally don't have to even think about us. Can understand that. Okay. Don't usually run into someone who's actively a hater. When I do, though, the old urge to step up is strong. Fortunately, you stepped up for me. Don't normally approve of something playing of someone playing savior like Loxley does, but in this case, I'll take it. That's very tuxedo mask. Plus, I did ask you for help. No shame in asking for help. Took me time to learn that one. Jinx shifts her cane from hand to hand, leaning heavily on it. Okay, show's over. Drift Queen's got a school of retro geek in on how to drive. And I really, really need to sit down. Oh, she's hurting. Gotcha. Have to help out. Call me if she bugs you again. Deal. I leave Jinx and Domino to see what else I can help with. So the cute thing was, in one of the other uh, uh, dialogue trees, uh, they name dropped that it's, she's actually racing Naomi, who was one of the original characters in the first arcade experience. So that was very exciting for me. Okay, where am I going next? Okay, 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 okay. We can deal with we can deal with this a-hole, or we could, uh, you know what? Let's do things Grace's way. I want to see that. On the far side of good, clean, fun, Grace is demoing your indie RPG on the fancy homebrew handheld game console. So, sort of. Wow, this game's easy as hell. Slash dice, 200 XP. That old guy didn't even put up a fight. That's that's a shepherd, not a fighter at all. Blitz, please, you're not supposed to be killing the villager NPCs. I don't see why not. They're packed with tons of XP. I've leveled up three times in five minutes, cutting my way through this town. They have XP because they have leveled and crafting skills, not because they're meant to be murdered. Don't know what to say. XP is XP. And they're good XP. Ha! <laughs> Look at that blood spray. So much for the laundry you're carrying, lady. Gonna need to put a stain treatment on that blanket. You, you killed the town weaver. She loved music and quilting and, and... So what's this game called again? Wandering Trial or something? Where's the big bat at the end? I want to skip to the end. Ha! Run, stupid villagers. I've got an axe and you've got heads and I'm going to use one on the other. It's confirmed. Gavin's family is a beautiful... They are gorgeous. I agree. Them jeans. They got some good jeans. Please don't just... Just give me back my game. Hmm? What was that? Speak up. Can't hear you over all these digital screws and stuff. <laughs> give it back, please, if you don't mind. You're playing it all wrong. Hey, come on. You never grow as a game designer without feedback. Don't you want me to test this thing? Not enough Not enough game devs really listen to the gamers, you know. They hide and ignore us or ban us from these forums or... Or are you afraid of free speech? No, no, it's not that. I just... I, um... Okay, I guess. Puzzled as to how this even happened, I try to catch Grace's attention. As she mouths help my way briefly... Unable to even raise her voice, so racked with nerves and anxiety. Oh. And bar I barely noticed Loxley sliding up next to me. I have no idea how one manages to lurk in the shadows of a brightly lit pizzeria, but he's done it. That such a ruffian should harass our fair grace like this. It's unacceptable. Unacceptable! Something must be done. Fortunately, he's talking quietly enough that the ruffian himself doesn't hear us. Plus, that little speaker's loudly squealing with the screams of the innocent. They really are. Oh my god, I just realized why I like Loxley so much. Why do you, how do you realize why you like Loxley so much? What did, who does he look like? What does he look like? Why is it? And Ben and Matt are busy dealing with an impromptu foam party, or we can get this guy booted out of here. No, the task falls to us, I'm afraid. As our friends and allies, we are on about, and I suggest this be executed in a subtle manner, lest mere tensions turn to full troubles. I propose shenanigans. He looks a lot like my first boyfriend, a real sweet guy with a heart of gold. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, that can happen. If you get distracted with Bruce in a way that makes him drop the game, I will promptly retrieve it. You want him to drop Grace's custom homemade game console? He had long blonde hair too. Oh, shit. I have faith in my agility. I can save it from impact with the floor. And this act would break his attention away from it. Albeit, if you have a better stratagem in mind, I'm all ears. But we should act swiftly and decisively. What do you propose? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna talk him down 
because that's what Colston would do. If we escalate the situation while Team P2W is here in force, it could get ugly. So let's not cause a scene. I'm going to talk Blitz down. Are you serious? I doubt that thick-headed Chandler could buffoon. <laughs> I doubt that thick-headed Chandler could buffoon is in the mood for honest discourse. What would Colston do? Yeah. Okay, so I'm not usually the open and share touchy-feely sort. That's a lie. But I like to take a run at this all the same. I suppose, but all the same, I'll be ready to spring into action should you fail. He bows out, allowing me to step up and confront the jock. Hey, Blitz, enjoying the Wanderlust Trail? Huh. Oh, it's you. Pip's loser, pal. What do you want? I'm busy here. Enjoying the game, huh? Eh, it's okay. Kind of retro in the graphics department. The blood spray is really half-baked. It's too easy to kill people. There's no challenge at all. Look, I'm level 6 already. I haven't even left this town. I'm just playing until I get to the fun part. Till then, it's just whack, whack, whack to make the numbers go up, I guess. Pause? Uh... I feel like this isn't going to work too well, but let's do it, because it'll be funny. Let's try using a metaphor this guy will probably understand. Sports ball. Gamer option. <laughs> Grace is right, though. You're playing it wrong. Excuse me? Look, the point of the game is engaging with the challenge it presents. You aren't doing that. It's like bringing a katana to a football game. If you carve your way through the defense in a literal sense, you'll score a touch and put it down. But it's not like you really won. Are you dense or something? There's no swords in football. Exactly. And in Grace's game, you're not supposed to kill the villagers. They're there to help you out in other ways. So why allow me to kill them at all? Make it against the rules. I feel like a game where the rules reinforce the theme, you know? If it's supposed to be all happy hippie cooperative stuff, don't let me kill the hippies. Yeah, okay. I guess I was playing it wrong. But in my defense, the game let me play it wrong. Wow. Thank you! We value your playtest experience. And now that it's done, we've heard your valuable feedback. How about you be a gentleman and give the lady back her game, like she asked you to do, repeatedly? He looks a bit reluctant, but I backed him into the same corner of social pressure he put Grace into. Given he only knows me as Pip's loser pal, he's not inclined to take me seriously. But with a shrug, he gives up the game, handing it back to Grace. Yeah, whatever. It was getting boring anyway. I'm gonna go see if there's actually any decent pizza in this crap hole. Ooh, so am I. Satisfied, he walks away to find someone, something else to distract himself with. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. She cuddles her game as if it was a newborn babe, needing to be soothed from a crying tantrum after getting its first shots. It'll be okay, it'll be okay. I'll restore the database, bring everybody back to life. Maybe put in safeguards to keep that from happening again. I didn't think anybody would be cruel enough to just, just kill defensive villagers. Why would anyone want to hurt those people? The world can be a cruel place, Miss Cooper. A cruel place indeed. You've got my gratitude, Colsto. Good show. With that, he slips back into shadow, sensing he's no longer needed to watch over Grace. I owe you for this, Colsto. Thank you so much. I shouldn't have let him play the game at all, but when he asked me what I did for a living and I said I designed games and he wanted to play, I just... I just... I didn't want to make a fuss, I guess. He's not exactly my target audience, but I feel like I'd be close-minded to not let him play a bit. And then things got messy. I'm so sorry. I'm just no good at all with confrontations. You should stand up to people like him. You were in the right. He was being a tool. If you ever want to digitize me into the virtual world to defeat a brute like that, go ahead. You need me in the future? Just ask. I'll be around. Let's let Colson be goofy. Hey, you ever want to defend the land of the Wandersong Trail from the inside? Just zap me into the system and I'll fight for the users. Of course, you need some kind of equipment that only exists in bad Hollywood sci-fi. But... Uh, right. Only exists in bad Hollywood sci-fi. Oh, I see what she did there. I see what she did there. I see what she did there. I was hoping to cut the tension with that joke. Why does she suddenly look concerned? 
she shakes it shakes it off quickly enough. Cute. Anyway, it's good to know someone's willing to defend me in awful situations like those. That I have a friend I can rely on. Tron is not bad sci-fi. Um, it's less that. It's it's a it's a direct callback to the first game, uh, where you actually get sort of hypnotized into a into a, a haunted arcade game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good shit. It's good shit. Uh, that's why I like Team GFCF. I feel safe here. I feel safe and loved in a lot of ways. I know you and I just kind of met. But it's always nice to find a new friend. Okay. I've got to reset my server. Put everything back the way it was before the sadist touched my precious game world. Thanks again for your help. And lo, the land is saved from the terrible beast ransacking its peoples. The end. It's getting late. How long are we going to have to deal with Team P2W squatting in our clubhouse anyway? Beep beep, Colsto. I'm detecting a build-up of social tension. Please follow the indicator on your map. Oh, great. Now what? Over in the arcade around the FOD machine itself, P2W squares off against GCF, both sides finally having enough of this mess. I don't even know why we came to this pathetic little arcade in the first place. Just a prissy little celebutant loser who thinks her follower count is a metric of awesomeness. Bunch of little fragile snowflakes can't even take a complete waste of time acting all high and mighty when you're... Simply don't understand how the game is meant to be played, and with that attitude, you never will. I was just trying to explain how I felt. I'm sorry I wasn't trying to. Leave Grace alone, you fucking loser. I can't fathom why Colson would waste his time with you, lot. This is getting ridiculous. But I know how to solve it, or at least refocus all this aggression to something else. We'll be friendly this time. People! People! This isn't helping anything. Look, we all love Fist of Discomfort too, right? So let's focus our energies there. We'll have a friendly match, and then everybody goes home. Okay? Enough fighting IRL. We complete honestly we compete honestly as gamers, and then agree to go our separate ways. Fine. I'm done dealing with this crap hole arcade anyway. One match for bragging rights, and we're done here. Pip steps forward from the rest of the PTW welcoming the competition. Koda will join me against you and one of your teammates. Fair? We'll see which team rules and which team drools once and for all. I was planning on raising the emotional stakes of this fight, but that old urge to win, to prove myself, it's rising. A win over Team P2W would do a lot for morale. It'd do a lot for our image. It could be the springboard we need into our future. Agreed. Let's do this. All three of us are ready to go, but we need a fourth, a partner I can rely on. Two versus two. That's the rule of FOD2. Strongest foot forward. Who do I want to call upon for this decisive fight? Who should we call this time? We saw, so we saw Grace. Who else could we go with as I eat another cold ass pizza bagel? Hop. Riley, what did you sneak in here? Hey! We got one vote for Rhapsody, we got one vote for Loxley. Hello, Riley. Just a bit ago. How, how did your stream go? I know you you streamed this demo uh, a couple night a couple days ago. Hello, hello. Yeah, we're having fun. This is actually my second run through the demo. <laughs> Went super well, had a lot of fun. Yeah, this has been really fun. I, I'm really like, I'm really enjoying what they've done with it so far. And all these cute little callbacks to the first game. I'm quite enjoying it. It'll be the last bit I see through. It's getting late here. Yeah, for sure. All right. Um, I got Rhapsody with a bunch of Ys. Rhapsody, ready to step into the spotlight. To put, T <laughs> to put Team P2W in their place? I'll gladly grin and bear it for one big fight, sure. Let's teach them a lesson. And then that's rock, paper, scissors. One ultimate. Story will continue. Pip generally loves to attack, so I can counter him with his fence. As for Koda, he likes to rotate. Attack, then defend, then special, and then... Well, it's a wild card. Win or lose, I need to give him my all. 
Uh, if I really want to win this, I have to focus on the fight and the fight alone for the sake of my dreams. I'm like super off center in the camera. <laughs> Defend! So Pip wants to come at me? Fine by me. I turn off and defend against the attacks, keeping myself in my minions safe. Your defend beats their attack. You win 160 points. Any characters particularly catch your eye? Um, Domino has turned out to be absolutely hilarious. So, again. Um, yeah, I'll need to play around with it a bit more. Like, they, they all got some cool quirks. Um, I'm digging Jinx. I think she's got a cool, a cool, uh, aesthetic about her. Uh, Grace is just, she's a sweetie. So I like Grace. Loxley's fun, um, but this is coming from a guy who, like, has cosplayed Flynn Rider for, like, fucking 11 years, so, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is. <laughs> um, yeah, they're, they're fun. I like it. Nice. So first, we must defend. Yes. I really didn't have a favorite while I was playing. They all have a little song. Oh yeah, I mean, they the demo does good at giving you a little bit of everything. The ultimate upset. Your defense defeats their attack. You win 140 points. Score now 300 to zero. I'm gonna presume he's gonna attack again. So Pip wants to come at me? Fine. Turtle up. So this is when they would defend, so we use special. Ooh, maybe don't do that next time. Shit, they attacked. I fucked it. I should have seen that coming. Charging up for a really amazing special move sounds like a plan. Unfortunately, the plan Pippin's figured out. No. Alright. We're gonna hit the ultimate, because I'm curious to see what'll happen. <laughs> this is it! This is when you learn what it's like to play against a pro! You use your ultimate, you earn 130 points. This is not quite as one side as the last time. Yeah, so okay, he's just gonna defend, attack non-stop. Alright. Uh, special! You both special, it's a tie, you earn 70 points, they earn 10 points. Victory! We did it, guys. We saved the arcade. I want more than just this wind. Wind? But I'll take it for now. You win. Perfect. We won? We won! We won a matchup with the best team in the nation! All those old instincts come rushing in. The thrill and satisfaction of victory. Beating P2W feels good. Feels damn good. GGWP, I hope you all learned something important today. Hmm. One lucky win isn't proof of anything. Win's a win, and we absolutely won. Time to face facts, Pip. You're not untouchable. Needless to say, Code is not particularly thrilled with the outcome either. I call hacks. They have to be cheating. No way a bunch of laundromat losers could beat us. <laughs> I wonder who will live, live streams if you're using Loxley. Yeah, I wonder. Coda, you really need to learn to accept loss. You can't win all the time. How you react to losses says a lot about you as a person. A lesson I'm still working on myself. Even if today's victory means pushing that lesson down the road to another day. I want a rematch. I demand a rematch. Best of three. Only way to prove that wasn't a fluke. Because it was a fluke. It's not possible. Quite possible, as you see. As the whole internet has seen. Loxley holds up his phone, playing a video he'd secretly... <laughs> playing a video he'd been secretly taking up the whole match. A P2W's humiliating loss. A bit clickbaity, but I opted to title it Team P2W Utterly Schooled by Local All Laundromat Underdogs. Lovely, isn't it? 
Now the whole world knows your pedestal isn't quite so out of reach. You, you little... I'm about to reply, but I'm cut off. A figure who had been lurking in the background this whole time making her presence felt. The coach for Team PQW, Victoria Proud, formerly the esports star player Valkyrie. I'd seen her come in with the team, but she hadn't talked to anyone since arriving. Quiet like death, only watching and waiting. Now she glowers at Koda and Pip, extremely unhappy with the results, her frown causing Koda to shift nervously. Uh, coach, I just meant that... She holds up a finger to her lips, silencing him. Then in a turn of eeny, meeny, miny, mo between her two players, her finger eventually lingers on Koda. Koda, you're fired. What? What? But this whole mess is thanks to Pip. He wanted to come here in the first place. Her eyes narrow at Coda's complaints, which stops in mid-sentence. Stop passing the blame. Not only do you look childish, but you've made the whole team look bad. And I won't stand for that. She sighs grudgingly whilst crossing her arms. She is by no means thrilled. Not only are you fired. What are my thoughts? Um, you guys have done good. You guys have done real good with this. Um... I'll, I'll, I'll wrap this up and I'll, I'll give you my more proper process thoughts. Not only are you fired, your non-compete clause means you're not joining any other teams. Not that they would have, not that they would have you, especially not after I tell them you're blacklisted. Be happy I'm not I'm not doing anything else. Koda stands there in total disbelief as the other members of the team edge away from him, as if he's suddenly caught, a, he suddenly caught a very communicable and very nasty disease. Defeated, Koda slinks away to the corner of the arcade. With Koda out of the picture, the coach redirects her attention to... me? I gulp, and hopefully not too audibly. As for you, Colsto, congratulations on your victory. Clearly you've earned it. But I wouldn't spend all night celebrating. You haven't won some grand war. You're an impressive challenger, no doubt, but take my advice, and be content with what you have. She nods, and I'm confused. She just give me a nod of respect? She twirls her finger in the air, and the rest of Team P2W follow her out. Even Koda, who's trailing at a safe distance. We won. We beat the best team in the nation simply by being who we are. By working together. If we can accomplish this. If we can avoid becoming a group of toxic jerks like Team P2W, this could be the start of something great. As I reflect, I note that all of Team GCF are together, unified because of this moment. All of us smiling together. <clears throat> I think I understand why Iris bought, brought me here. They may not be hardcore FOD two players like Pip's new team, but they are a team. <clears throat> they're friends, they're allies, they're together as one, and I've done my best to support them today. They can do anything they set their minds to. Maybe this is the moment. Maybe I can convince them of that. Beep beep! This is an intense identity situation. You can only pick a response that matches your top two personality traits. Cole Stowe is a nice boy. <clears throat> wow. I mean, just wow. I'm the newbie around here, but even in the few hours, I've been a part of your inner circle. I have to say I'm impressed. <clears throat> you support each other. You care for each other. You pull together when PQW started stomping around your home. I can sense a lot of strength, a lot of love here, and that's a power that can take you anywhere you want to go. I know you said you're not all that interested in the FOD2 Pro Tour, but I think if you can pull together as one like you have today, you could do it. We could do it. We could try at least. Win or lose, we owe it to ourselves to try, if only to see how far we can get. So, what do you say? Friends? I'm not really a competitive sort of person, but when you put it that way, you're right. We're stronger together than apart, and we could really make a go for it. I'm willing to today. Where grace leads, I shall follow. To the very gates of hell, if need be. I'd prefer to stop about 10 feet short of the gates of hell, but... <laughs> you know what? I'm down. I'm ready to support you all. For what good that'll do. I'm not one for the Care Bear trademark hug festival, but you know I'm ready for the Pro Tour. Always have been. This interaction has certainly renewed my spirit, reminding me of what it's like to play. Who knows what we could have accomplished as a team. If Grace says so, then fine. Okay. Yeah. 
It's happening. My dream. My dream is a victory. I found a team willing to go all the way. I've done it. Iris was right. This is where I need to be. Hold it. One thing to make absolutely clear. You want to whip this team into something resembling a competitive professional esports crew? Uh, yes? That's what I said. Okay. Then you are the one responsible for making that happen. You are our new manager. What? Hold on, hold on. The real Colson what is. What? <laughs> Never had one. Never needed one. Not until now. You want us to take this seriously? We'll need someone who can network, shake hands, make deals, sign paperwork, make travel arrangements, find sponsors. And since you're so gung-ho about this, that means it's you. Yes, of course. It makes sense. I'm sure you do a great job as team manager. Maybe you could even find a better name for us than Team GCF. Oh goody, we have a professional cat herder now. Have fun trying to keep this merry bunch on task, Colsto. I'd sooner be glass to take on that job. Uh, but I say we don't give Colsto absolute authority. You saw how that creep who runs P2W just up and fired Coda? None of that. You don't get to access or hire anyone new. Now, now. I'm sure we can turn to Colso for leadership without him becoming a tyrant. After all, six separate Tyrannus, yes? I think that was a threat. Yes, that was a threat. Just a word of advice from someone who's been inside and alongside of, and alongside of esports for years. It's a lot of hard work. A lot of hard work with barely any thanks or praise. And if anyone has a whisper of negativity, you get the full brunt of it. But overall, you'll do great. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do. Three cheers for Manager Colsto. Cheer, cheer, cheer. I'm getting excited about this. A pro tour run? Can we really do it? Wow. As someone else doing all the paperwork and heavy business lifting, I am perfectly okay with this. Friends to the pizzeria for the finest and only the finest and celebratory deep dish pies. Uh, Domino's great. Everyone storms Ben and Matt's pizzeria intent on scarfing down pepperoni and mozzarella by the pound. Ugh. No, not yet. Not yet. It's happening. It's really happening. I um I told I told uh, Stefan this already. I really, really like this new take on, on the old song. Tomorrow, my new friends and I begin our training for the Pro Tour. We're going to be this pro esports team. This is my time. It's kind of Domino's face in that spot, though, yeah. I know. Let's not kid ourselves. This is going to be difficult. Driving an obscure neighborhood team all the way to the top will take hard work. But it, uh, nope. But I've been ready for this all my life. I know I can do this with their support. Together, we can accomplish anything. Get ready, 20. Your new challenges are here. Yay. Alright. Exciting trailer voice. <clears throat> One more time. Level complete. I saw a clip with a certain domino interaction. Let's say I'm going back to play again so I can see. Oh, I saw that, yeah. You've completed this demo of Arcade Spirits, the new challenges. Victory! What, what? No. Let's take a look at your scores. Grace seems to be very comfortable around you. Ah, You're proving to be a gentle, sweet, and compassionate soul. Thank you so much for playing, and we hope to see you again when Arcade Spirits, the new challenges, launches in early 2022. Arcade Spirits New Challengers, a romantic comedy narrative adventure in the arcade year 20XX. Design your own player character and rival. Build relationships with seven romanceable characters. Grow your personality through role-playing choices. Manage your team and fight through all obstacles. Fight in the Fist of Discomfort 2 strategy minigame. Import your decisions from the original Arcade Spirits. www.arcadespirits.com at Arcade Spirits VN. Yeah. All right, so the thought, the thoughts. Uh, let's use this. Yeah, um, th this song is so good. I agree. Thought you said seven romance, seven romanceable, seven. There's seven op options, seven people you can romance. Um, but this is demo. This is also true. Seven romances plus a friends option is is the the usual how these guys go. So um. 
thoughts on this demo. So, uh, character creations, it's it's cool. Um, I know every, apparently everyone on the streams have been having a lot of fun with Tenrus. Yeah, true. Uh, everyone's having a lot of fun with the uh, character creation. Um, it occurred... Hold on. I want to drop the audio for myself because I will shout less that way. 7 and friendship and a poly root. Oh right. Yeah, that's right. The guys, they uh they added a poly root. So that's that's wild. That's that's, that's going to be cool. Poly root, hell yeah. And if we're lucky, maybe it'll be a proper responsible adult one and not the stupid one that people we know keep getting themselves in trouble with. I didn't say that out loud. Uh polyamorous relationships. So so mo more than 2. More than 2. At the same time, together. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So character creation was good. I did find me being me. I did wish there was some facial hair. <laughs> and eight if you count the hostile rival versus friendly hostile. Yeah, true. Six and two and one and one. Yeah, that's how you put six plus two plus one plus one. Uh, so I wouldn't mind if if we could get that. Some 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 stubbles in there, you know. Um, not a, not a huge issue though. Um, the writing is damn spot on. There's a lot more little. We're gonna add some to final character creator. Cool, 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 cool. Um, there was a. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, we're we're a year away from the, basically a year away from the game, so that's no worries. No problem. Um, there's a lot of jokes in there that I didn't expect to see. There's like a lot of cute references, like the fucking Sailor Moon. My work here is done. It's like, but you didn't do anything. Whoosh. That's that's funny. That's just funny. Uh, there was a few in there that 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 totally cracked me open too. There, there were some good ones. The Sailor, bit, Sailor Moon bits sent me. You know. Um, Domino going into creepy Domino mode is amazing. Um, I I I was looking forward to Domino because you know as as a as a, me being me, I was like oh good let's see what kind of character this is and. I didn't realize. I knew he was a cynical guy. I didn't realize how like absolutely fucking hilarious he was gonna be. So I really like what you guys are doing, with Domino. I got that. I've never even seen Sailor Moon. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's a Sailor Moon reference in the first game too. Uh, that was pretty good. Yeah, I'm digging Domino. Uh, Grace is an absolute sweetheart. Like I was like, I didn't. I don't know what I was expecting with her. It's just kind of like. Okay, this is like a different angle of the Gavin character. Like the same kind of traits, like steady and uh, kindly, but it's like, but done differently. So it was, it was interesting to see what they would do there. Um, I actually thought it was a Simpsons Mar Marge versus the Monorail reference. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. My work here is done. So you didn't do anything, didn't I? And then teleport. That's why you shouted Leonard Nimoy. Ah, that makes more sense. Um, where are they going? Uh, Loxley is is fantastic. Like, he's a character type that that I myself am like a big fan of. Like, like what what are all my favorite fictional characters? Fucking, fucking Nathan Drake, Flynn Rider, goddamn, uh, who else is in there? Lock Cole, Final Fantasy VI. Um. You know that's just, that's my thing. The 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 the, the so-called charming rogues. I'm I'm a fan of that of that type. So so that's cool. Um, I I originally went with the friendly rival that I I, I based off of Ash, which was kind of funny. And then I, I did the hostile rival this time. Um, who else is in there? Uh, Jinx I think is a man of quality. Yep. Uh. Jinx is cool. I'm really interested to see more of her story because like she did this whole thing where she was all like, you know, like I had an angry time and I've I've been arrested for assault and stuff. Like this is interesting. And it's also like the, the whole thing with like she, you know, she's a disabled character, um, which of course you don't see very often in uh, in games like this. So or in games period. So like even just the bit where it's just like, um, you know, I was like, hey, I want to play. FOD two, and she's like, "All right, just give me half an hour to rest up my wrists, and I'll and I'll get in on it." It's like, like that's what that's what people do. So I get it. Um, so that's that's really interesting. 
Uh, who am I missing? Zapper. Zapper, I expected that I would be right in line because Zapper is a, is a quirky, gutsy character. So I thought for sure, I was like, alright, I'm gonna die right in with her. Um, I didn't interact as much with her as I thought I would. Uh, but I mean, she's kind of the character that I expected her to be, you know, just bright, brash, finger guns. Like, she was always my favorite part of the, the original reveal teaser, when, you know, it was like all the silhouettes, it was <clears throat> and everyone's like, standing cool, standing cool, and then pop and just finger guns! Uh, so I kind of figured that's how she would go, and so that's, that's fine. Uh, Rhapsody, um, Rhapsody isn't a character that I was, like, on my radar, I was like, oh, I would really like to see this, but I mean, that's, that's me being me, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a cishet male, so, you know, there's, there's always so much of, of this, these directions that you know, I've felt I've ever really thought too much about, so I think it's gonna be, they intrigue me a lot, yeah. I think they're going to be really cool to watch. Um, I am excited to learn more about it. Like, like we got we got a friend, uh, uh, Gabby. Uh, they are Myret on on Twitch, and they, they play games with us before and stuff. And you know, it's it's been a long year of learning a lot more about you know like gender type stuff. I mean, Ash also has, like talked to them a lot about kind of gender stuff. So you know, it's 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 new. It's new and interesting for me to. You know, just to get into it, because this is not something that I spent much of my time, my life, lift, learning about. As you know, I'm a, I'm an old man, and a lot of these finding words for these things is very, is very new. So, uh, so we'll see how that goes. It's just cool. Who am I missing still? Who am I not thinking of? So, so Zapper, Grace, Jinx, Loxley, Domino. Oh no, that is everyone. Um, so yeah, so writing is still on point, so I, I'm, I'm enjoying that. Uh, the minigame is Val. Oh! Oh, the, uh, Valkyrie, yeah! The amazing, flat out, beautiful. Yeah, all the, 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 Pete, the, the play to win, uh, characters, they all look amazing. Um, I think they're gonna be fun as foils to, uh, to, to the other guys. Because that was the thing, we didn't have the same level of villain in the first game. Like, like there was like the main, the main big villain, and then the like the wacky band of uh, criminals. But uh, these are like straight up like this. This is like Kafka level, just like Act One, Scene Two. There they are, and they're gonna cause a problem. So uh, it'll it'll be a different kind of uh, game where it's just like you know we're, the whole time is us like. Just gearing up to fight against these guys over and over, potentially. Uh, so that'd be cool. Um, I enjoyed all the little throwbacks to the to the first game, um, like the fact that that Jinx was gearing up to play to race against Naomi. That was fun. Uh, that little moment where where uh, Grace had to stop and think about uh, the fact that people are in fact being digitized into video games in real life. Uh, so that's cute. I'm excited to see where you guys go with that. Um, Iris calling Grace mom is fucking hilarious. So yeah, I'm... <clears throat> I think we're having fun. Uh, what other thoughts do I have? The mini game is fun. Um, I want to see more of that. I know uh, Stefan pointed out that the mini game is super nerfed for the demo. So I'm, I'm, all, I'm curious to see how dangerous and how tough that could get. Really excited to see how importing data from Arcade Spirits plays out. Yeah, I um, I actually still need to finish my Steam playthrough of Arcade Spirits. Like, I I intend to play basically the same way I played the my PS4 run, but uh, uh, I just haven't yet. <laughs> I could skip through, I could fast track through all the all the text and still get to the end, and I just like no, I don't have to take time, or I feel guilty that I'm playing it off stream. I don't know, but uh, I need to go back and do that. Uh, so that said, yeah, all you all you guys newer to this stuff, uh, if you haven't seen Arcade Spirits One, uh, it is available on uh, Steam, like on yeah on PC, like through Steam and through uh, another thing. Uh, it's available through PlayStation Four, Xbox One, reasonably. It's on Switch. 
have to replay it before this comes out because I have no idea what was safe for importing. Yeah, I need to I need to set up my game for for the for the the import. Uh, I know I'm gonna stick with the, the last name Daring because that's just our channel culture here. I I do need to think of a first name. I don't want him to be another James. Uh, so I got I got to think about what name makes sense for that. Um, definitely goes without saying the music is freaking bumping. I I like. I know the website, like ArcadeSpirits.com, says that uh, all of the music's on Spotify and all that stuff. Does that include the, the sequel music? Because these tracks are amazing. This is a Gary place? <laughs> what do you mean? A Gary place. I, I feel like I should know what this means. I'm not sure what that means exactly. Please elaborate if you could. Just friend detect. Def, def, defective. Um, what was I saying of that? Greg. Greg Murals, yeah. Yeah, Greg Murals. We haven't released the new stuff, I don't think. Okay, okay. Because I want it. Although, I need to be careful. Because I did that to myself the first time around. It's like, I started playing the game. Like, oh, this is great music. I should get it on my, I should get it on my, on my, uh, on my phone so I can listen to it when I drive to work. And then you get to those certain tracks with those certain names of the tracks, and you're like, ah, I shouldn't have done this yet. <laughs> so uh, maybe I'll try to. I, I super spoiled myself. It's like, oh, that's gonna happen. Oh, that's gonna happen afterwards. So I was like, okay, okay. So I, I, I done goofed. I done goofed. I was just like, no, I got a game for free for by by asking really nicely. No, I gotta give them money. I'll buy the soundtrack. I'll buy four copies on Steam. <laughs> One for myself, three for th three for other people. I did a giveaway and shit. It happened. I got Colson to buy it. <laughs> um, so no, like it goes without saying. I, I'll, 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 I will keep this hype train running as as hard as and fast as I can. Pause. Um, but no, you, you, I got, I got your back, guys. I, I will, I will do everything I can to make sure people, people know what's up. Um. I remember that stream after you did that. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty funny. Um, what other thoughts do I have? Yeah, uh, the tw the early 2022, that's that's fine. Um, we have more than enough things to play in the meantime. Um, and I know that if you guys did rush, you could make it for holiday 2021. But I agree, you don't you don't need to compete with holiday 2021. That's 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 dangerous. That's that's asking for death. Um but yeah, that'll be good. Uh, what else? What other thoughts? I mean, those those are my main thoughts. Like, I yeah, just the the writing was 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 good and fun. I I like the look of it. How it's kind of you know you go to the don't rush. That's a bad time. Yeah. Um, the the bit where it switches to the map is neat. I'm very excited to see and curious to see what'll happen with the the iris stuff. Um. Because I know that's the whole thing, like the order versus chaos thing. Yeah, all the art's great. Uh, Molly, as always, did an amazing job with the with the character art, so I'm, I'm excited about that. Um, and yeah, the 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 other artist, uh, I don't remember Jesse Lamb, is it? Wait, I can pull the info up right right now. Yes. Background art by Jesse Lab. There it is. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, other than that, I mean, it's very on brand for for the overall story. Um, I did find one thing interesting was that uh, the the flexibly options in the in the dialogue. Uh, sometimes that that perked characters, because I know that was always a thing. Like everyone's always afraid to use to use the the so-called basic option or the neutral option, but. Um, you will still get character relationship points uh, for those too, so it's like, all right. So you you really you can't meta game this one. Like like I know I know Steph Stefan made the point about that. It's like everyone will always play it safe. They always pick the kindly routes to to not hurt people's feelings and all that because statistically it's gonna work. And and they're just like, no, we're gonna we gotta f that up. You can't you can't just play it safe. People people are gonna read right through you, so you can't do that. So that's that's gonna be cool. Um, but yeah, it's like you guys have definitely put a lot of thought into this stuff. 
first one was the same way. Yeah, exactly. So the fact that they're going extra hard on that. And <laughs> you tried. Well, I was lucky that I had a meta BB in my corner on my first stream to tell me, don't be afraid to use the other options. It'll be great. The first game I went for kindly, humorously straight through, but this demo is the exact opposite. Yeah. Yeah, like, the my first run through uh, of the first game, I was very quirky with a bit of a bit of kindly, and then it slowly turned into a bit of gutsy. So I think with this one, I'm going to do it the other way around. I'm going to do, like, mostly gutsy with, uh, with a minor in... <laughs> I got a major in Gutsy with a minor in Quirky. Um, but yeah, I do need to play more of the, the original game first. So, like, I guess we're pretty good. Um, if we have any other questions, any other thoughts, please hit me right now. Otherwise, uh, we might need to start wrapping up. But yeah, so Arcade Spirits, the new challenges, sequel to a fantastic game from 2019. Uh, if you guys haven't played that one yet, uh, you should definitely, I strongly, wholeheartedly recommend you check that out. It's a... Uh, very fun, unique game. It costs nothing. It runs on a potato. Um, and you will support some really cool, uh, you know, indie developers. So that's so that's that. Let's see. Is anyone else playing any Arcade Spirits type stuff or, or, or no? But yeah, MetaBB, you go to bed. You've stuck around long enough. Thank you again, as always. You are an, uh, you've been an amazing support for us ever since we got on this this crazy ride so we keep doing that it does well there was there was a um, what's your name Faye Faye was just like my 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 uh, computer can't run anything and uh, two flower was in the was in the chat is like no 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 we made this game able to, to run on on a damn potato that's what he said I didn't clip it but it happened yeah all right, Meta BB, you have a good night. And it looks like it's just me playing. All right. I guess we'll just call it then. I feel bad wasting a, a raid, but I think we're all good. It's a weekday, and that's it for us. So, um, oh, you know what I need to do? Delicious potato machines. <laughs> potato machines. So, okay. So, other than that, um, yeah. So, thanks for everyone coming by. Especially thank you, Anna, for bringing all these nice people. Uh, that was super fucking cool. Um, as I um, so of course, yeah. So my name's James. Uh, you notice the name, of course. This channel, the Daring Players Squad. I am just one of five people who help run this channel. Uh, we stream just about every night of the week. We play a lot of different games, uh, so you get a lot of different games to watch. A lot of different people playing those games. A lot of different personalities. It's a pretty cool system. I. I don't think I'd ever want to stream any other way right now, truthfully. I think it's, it's so much fun, we got a good thing going. Uh, so that said, what do we have for the rest of the week? Tomorrow, that's Joyce, represented here by the crying emoji. Uh, Joyce is in, excuse me, Joyce is in the end game of Persona 5 Royal. She has been playing this game for damn near a year, and she's still playing it. And uh, we got a lot of friends, a lot of support from it, but she's almost done, which is crazy to think about. Uh, so that's Tuesday. Wednesday, that's our free day now. We've, we've switched up our, our schedule a little bit. But Wednesday's our free day now. Thursday, that's Arash. The past few weeks, he's been playing a lot of Valheim uh, to help prep us for our, our group streams on the Saturdays. We'll get to that later. Uh, he may play Monster Hunter rise on thursday uh he's a big monster hunter fan this channel has played a lot of monster hunter in the past while the, the past three years so he might play that on thursday in which case cool uh, maybe we can get some friendos with some switches to get in on that friday that's colston the man who we we impersonated just now he is on friday he's playing bravely default 2 uh He's been waiting for this one forever. Like he was, he was actually streaming uh, Hades for a while. But then the moment Bravely Default two, he just he dropped everything to, to play Bravely Default. And I get it. I understand. Like I will do the same with this game, <laughs> with this Arcade Spirits new challenge when it comes out. And uh, then Saturday, that is the team stream where all of us will get together and play a game together. Most likely, right? That's not all of us. Oh shit. Let's try that again. Boop. 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 
That's better. Uh, Saturday, that should be Valheim again. Um, I really like Valheim. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, I actually have my own world aside from stuff, but uh, we just beat Motor, who was a big dragon. Hi, Schedule. Thank you for that, for popping up just in time. Uh, so we'll probably do that on Saturday. Then Sunday, bringing us back to the top of the week, is Ash. Oh, you know what? It's actually it's Ash and me. Uh, we are playing It Takes Two, the new game, uh, where the split screen co op, where we play a married couple on the verge of divorce, and then voodoo happens, and now we're dolls, and and we have to work together. Otherwise, the scary Latino book of love will will eat us. The motor fight is so much easier if you can get her off the mountain. Oh yeah, no we. Actually, um, we highlighted that entire fight on our channel, if, if you're interested. But yeah, we, uh, we we prepped a fight lower off the peak of the mountain. They pissed her, set her off, pissed her off, and came running down, and we were all just pew, pew, pew. It was a good fight, though. It was fun. I enjoyed that fight. Way better than Bone Mass. <laughs> Way more fun than Bone Mass. Poison sucks, man. Uh, so yeah, so that's, uh, that's our week. Of course. If you haven't followed us here, following us here is the best way to keep track of us. Uh, we are a fun lot of people. I, I promise. Uh, otherwise, we do have a Twitter account. Uh, I was very active on the Twitter this past week. Yeah, bone mess. The scary book of love asshole. <laughs> uh, we do have a Twitter account. We got a Facebook page. We got an Instagram account. I should post something on the Instagram, actually. I should do that. And uh, we've got a Discord so you can hang out with us and tell us uh, what you want to see. Share pictures of your pets. Share pictures of your food. Share your cringe. Share your memes. We love it all there. It's very easy going over there. Uh, and then, of course, finally, we do have a YouTube channel. Uh, mostly serves as an archive for our Twitch stuff because Twitch doesn't love us yet. Uh, so that's it for us. Um, as I said, once again, thank you very much for, for, for coming by. Uh, I very much expect that I will drop everything on a dime to play uh, new challenges when it comes out properly next year. Uh, so when we get there, we'll get there. But until then, uh, my name is James. This is the Dairy Player Squad. And go buy Arcade Spirits and play that if you haven't yet. If you need a reminder on what that looks like, I'll give you one right now. So yes, my name is James, Dairy Player Squad. You guys have a good night. I will see you. Um, Saturday, I guess. Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. Good night, guys. In the name of the Funplex, I'll punish you. This will take cunning, agility, and an iron resolve. Now to assemble all these components together in a giant kitten saving robot. Naomi, it's time to form Voltron. Who is my tank? Wait a minute. What if the tank is? I summon a guardian. Yes. <laughs> Guacamole. Let's focus on what's right here, right now. Where are we? Max? Yo, it's Pax! <laughs> We're in Pax right now. <laughs> also, plenty of kissing and touching butts. <laughs> yeah, Anna wrote this. Yep. Mm, yep. I bet you'd make an excellent player, too, for Queen Bee. She'd be happy to beat you up, too. In Fist of Discomfort. Unless you're both into that, I mean. I seriously hope you aren't insinuating that I don't treat all pro gamers with the utmost respect. I don't understand. I seriously hope you are insinuating that I don't treat all pro Siri? No, not now. I'm a branding shill. Oh no, because that's my last name in this game too. Oh, I'm a super egocentric asshole. Wearing my most professional smile. I stroll over to the entrance. Oh, fuck! I take my supreme pizza bagels and dunk them into the water cup. The texture of the slimy wet pizza bagels. Yeah, it's not the most enticing feeling in my mouth, but chewing them up has become twice as easy. I'm powerhousing through these now. 
It feels like it's been forever, but it couldn't have been more than several minutes. As I stuff more eatables into my body, my tummy's already feeling it. But it feels like success. This is barely a dent in my iron insides, and I could eat like this all day long. <coughs> I need water, guys. <laughs> <laughs>